I need to let you understand it's a special episode. This is not regular. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, that's better. We got Mellow X, musician, rapper, yeah. DJ, music producer, songwriter, score and sound designer, filmmaker, Woo. photographer, legend, Woo. father, son, Woo. brother, fiance. This is not regular. Grammy nominated, fiance songwriter. You know what I mean? G Black is King, Lion King, The Carters, Ari Lennox, Dram, Jesse Boykins. Do we understand this is not regular? We in the presence of a God, a God God. Now we have the introduction. We all understand where we are. We're all blessed. We fully have our, our, our mainframe wired. Now we can get into a conversation. Please understand we're talking to a vibrational being high of the highest order. We're here to get into the essence. Hey. We're here to get into the essence. That's how we beginning. How are you, brother? Yo, that, yo, that was a great intro, man. That was a great intro. That's, that's my, probably the best one I've heard for, for, for a minute, so. No, I'm good. Thank you, yo. I'm good. Just here, you know. Uh, the boy is good, set up, and now, now I'm good. You know what I mean? Had to make sure I fed him and get him distracted. He with mom now, so you know what I mean. Be good. <laughs> man, this is up, man. I'm so happy you and I appreciate you joining. Just wanted, Done to now. Up, just wanted to chop it up with you. Nothing about any, anything about nothing about anything specific. Just wanted to say what's up. See how your world was looking. What was going on? You know how LA was feeling. How the plans for the wedding are going? You know I mean, I just I just catch you up with how you feeling right now in this moment. We can start there right now. Yo, good, yo. You know, um, me and Corey actually I think it was last night or two nights ago. We had like a good five hour wedding Pinterest binge. You know what I mean? Just you know, every every few weeks we just we lock in and just get all the ideas that we want and just, you know, build it and build it until until it gets here, you know what I'm saying? So I definitely even know the, the energy right now. You know awesome. what I mean? I saw yeah. something about a, a planting, a planting, a planting inspiration on, on, on the suit. <laughs> oh, yo, nah, see, I, cause I, right, so my Pinterest, you know, I was pulling from these like plantation photos in Jamaica, just like, just the cuts of how they, you know, she was like, yo, what are you, what you doing, man? What you doing? I'm like, come on, just, just fuck with me. Come on, I'm getting it. But um, but yeah, you know, we, we just got our mood boards heavy right now. We like in heavy mood board section of Wedding Planet, for us at least. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that, that's been amazing. Um, and other than that, just musica, you know, mm -hmm. working on music always. Me and Jesse actually been working together heavy um when like a whole uh, i have like a whole album and everything that i've been working on and just finalizing that putting out more visuals that's why i've been you know remix you play it's like the latest remix but putting out a lot more of those throughout the next few weeks and shit you know so, so it's gonna be an album coming from you yeah you know i always i'm always i done had 10 albums that did not come out in the last six years you know what i mean i'm always doing something but last year specifically was like you know corey jesse my friend it was like you can't do nothing but music that's it and i'm like ah, right, you know what that's what i'm gonna do so i just really focused on a, a body of work that represents just where i'm at right now life daddy life happy happy with myself life you know what i mean um you know Grown, grown and happy music. <laughs> I like that. I like that vibe. Yeah. Grown and happy. Yeah. I mean, so what are, what are the vibes on the album? What sort of what sort of inspirations? Is it Afro beats? Are we going with reggae? Is it all the Yo, the music? whole album is, you know, everything I'm doing right now is for my aunties in Jamaica. I want them to hear it and vibe with it. So that's that's where I am creatively. It's like the aunties bakayad. <laughs> they have eat. Yo, my aunt who I was talking to, she asked me today, so where's the album? So what's happening? I'm like, yo, it's coming. Yo, I finished. You know, uh, uh. so that's who I'm making it for, like for them specifically right now. That's where my energy is. It's like timeless music for them, you know? But yeah. What do you, what do you, feel, what do you feel like they need to hear? What is sort of like vibe you trying to send to them in specific? Well, you know, I feel like my music, a lot of what I've released to the public as far as mixtapes and albums and everything, 
um, was definitely me being in Brooklyn Flatbush, just growing up, traveling, and then showing all these places I travel, like here's like the, here's the essence of where I'm from, you know, like dollar cab, holla back type shit, you know, like, you know, things like that. Like I, I had fans that was like, I didn't know what that was until I was on Church Ave and I said, oh, this is what dollar cab, holla back me. I'm like, yeah, dollar cab, you put your hand out, ah, it just pulls up, you know, but, um, so my music always, in my, my uh, a large portion of my music was always paid referencing growing up there, um, which my music always is referenced my upbringing. But this specifically was like um, really moving out to LA and being able to miss where I was from. So like not being able to just get a veggie patty down the block or some curry shrimp just right there, you know, or you know, just the ease of like hitting the Ave and have every kind of Caribbean flavored food right there, you know. Uh, so I just, I started really creating music from a reminiscent, a reminiscing standpoint. And that energy just felt more, you know, dancehall, more reggae, more, um, more of what I just grew up on, you know, uh, and really not trying to prove anything with the music, but just letting it be and just creating and writing, you know. Um, but yeah, so that's that's kind of where I'm at now with the with the music is really, you know, I ne I never created from a dad point of view, and not that I'm like it's like dad, this is dad rap. <laughs> I'm done. Like nah, this is just nigga. A nigga that's happy where he at creating so you know that's the vibes that we did you know what i mean it's beautiful man it's like i've you know we've always we've all seen your growth over the past decade the music the electric punani the mixes the sound clouds the band cam camps this is a long time coming like you're an artist in this like you're an expert you're a legend you already did your ten thousand hours you know what i mean so anything that you're going to come out we know it's coming from a curated selective really really real and manicured high yeah. up high level place yeah you know i haven't put a bot like I would say before 20, let's say fourth, let's just say 15, mm. I was putting out just, you know, mixtapes and albums and EPs and every month, every week, every time, just flood, flood, you know, Amala. And even at that time, I felt like, yeah, I ain't really doing a lot, but I was doing a lot, you know? So the last six years or so was the least amount of music I've put out. You know, I probably put out like, just a few singles here and there. I have one song called Waste You. And then I have another called The Greatest. And I have one called Warrior Song. Those are joints that's out now. And those three really, if you listen to them, they kind of have that essence and that fuse of like future shit, but also dance hall vibes, just Caribbean vibes. It's, you know, my fusion and my mesh of, of shit, but I haven't put out a full body of work in a minute. so. That's really been my focus now is just uh, finalizing that with Jesse and Joshua Kissy. You know what I'm saying? We all been working together. Me, Josh Kissy, my fiance, Corey, um, we just all came together to, to, you know, figure out exactly how to present what I'm working on, what I'm doing. And we're still in the process now. But, um, but yeah. Yeah, man. So, all right, tell me about the, tell me about going to LA. Just on a serious, a serious tip, because you took that six, six years off. It seems like you've been in LA for roughly that same amount of time. So, what was the move, the transition? What was the reason? And what was you, what were you seeing? What were you thinking to go from Brooklyn to LA? What did, it, why did it feel like? Well, I've been going to LA. I say the first time I went to LA was probably like twenty, like two thousand nine, maybe or ten or something. And maybe every year or so I will always just go, have, you know, shows or just being out here for, for different things. Um, but really the business brought me out here. You know what I mean? The business, I kept, I kept having to be out here for longer periods of time, you know? Um, at the time, I would say around like 2013 or 14 is when I started doing some more things with with like nike so they would have these big workout events it was almost like a festival for fitness you know 
So they'll have a big stage with, uh, you know, with people who, who are running like a, running like a fitness camp. So like everybody hands up and there's like 200 people in a stadium, like, you know, doing the workouts. But I, and I would score that, you know, I would work with the, um, work with the trainers and actually create the musical bed for the main stage. And then I, there's a side stage. Here's a, the musical mix for the side stage when people go to get the water over here. And then there's a, you know, there's like a gym area here that has a, that they're doing boxing and shit, yo. Here's a mix and music for that. So I was doing a lot of that and having to come out here for that. And then also working with Beyonce on a bunch of stuff out here um, and just always having to come out and stay longer. And at first it was like, yo, we gonna be here for, I'm like, yo, boo, we gotta be out here for like three months. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, three months. And three months was like, yo, we probably gonna be six months. You know what I mean? Like, we might as well just get a spot because the amount we paying for hotels, you know, we could just pay for Airbnb. And I was like, yo, the amount we paying for this Airbnb, basically rent. We might as well, do, you know, so it just kept, the business kept bringing me out here. And um, that's when I was like, all right, you know, it's time to really live somewhere else. For me, I, I never lived anywhere outside of my crib that I grew up. Um, and definitely when it was time for me to take that, take those steps, like move out, be on my own, I already was accustomed to traveling a lot, you know, as far as touring, but just traveling the world as a DJ, as an artist, different tours, me and Jesse. Boykin's um, touring or me and Jasmine with Electric Punani touring on just on my own. So I was already accustomed to not being in the crib all the time anyway. But this was the first time I was like, right, I'm going to move and build something somewhere else, a different state. Um, and, you know, doing that with Corey definitely helped. Um, and yeah, so that's, that's, that's what brought me out here initially. And yeah, I just been able to, for the most part, been bi coastal. But the last two years was the most time that I have not been back east. Last time I was in Brook in New York, or just on the east for well, last time I was in New York was um like 2019. I did a, a DJ Pierre Moss opening at a King's Theater in Flatbush. That was like the last summer, I was, it was 2019, last summer I was there. And not being back for that long, it's the longest period of time I haven't been back to New York, you know? Um, so yeah, so right now I'm here, just, you know what I'm saying, just really on my back cave, you know, super saying like, you know, <laughs> hyperbolic time chamber type exactly. shit. You know, just like, just in here like, you know what I'm saying? Up, up, going from, you know what I'm saying, Super Saiyan 1 to Super, Super Saiyan 4, basically. Right? You know what I'm saying? So really, yeah, really you know, on it. Really on it. Like, I, right, I'm a better, you know, everything from every, and I really took the time to better myself, which I still am, but just also just kind of look at myself in a certain way so I can be more open to how, how I need to change moving forward and being in the mind state to accept those changes. And then every year, you know, it's getting get better and better, but I definitely took the time to be like, let me recalibrate a bunch of shit, you know? You have to be recalibrated. Cause I mean, you went, I mean, just from the outside looking in, you, it's, it went from the electric punani, the torn <laughs> music, the stuff, you know, like the, the weekly mixes to like this ascended, like, like this extra ascended high, high quality level. You know, like we're to the point where it's like again, you attract them to Beyonce's of the world and these other people to write music on huge albums, Lemonade. You know, these are not these are not regular, you know, these are not regular things. You know what I mean? This doesn't happen to average regular people. But I'm like, I just want to know, and I think most people would want to know, like, how do you go from that DJ perspective to having those connections to building that music and that catalog? What's, what was what was happening? Well, like, you know, for me, I would say my my rise and my continued rise and growth and where I'm at is very unique because I don't, I wasn't 
aligned with anybody, signed with nothing. It's just from the block to the joint. You know what I'm saying? Like straight uh, bedroom producer heavy. You know what I'm saying? Like I always tell people that with the with with Beyonce stuff that I worked on is like she fucked with me because I was already a lit nigga. You know what I mean? I was already lit. I done already tour already. I got music. I got. I'm dropping shit that's on all the websites and all that. All that hot shit. I was already doing on my level as an independent artist that's on the grind. Come up. Uh, all that hot shit. You know. So. For me, I always had, I always just knew the power of when I, the power of my focus, you know, and, um, and what that will attract is, is I can't even fathom what it will attract because my goal creating music was always like, I'm gonna do it on my own. I'm gonna do it my way. I don't care. Like, I don't care. You hear it or you hear it or you, I don't care, I'm putting it out. Boom, this is my shit, y'all. I'm gonna remix this whole album. I can't make no bread off it, fuck it. I'm gonna make videos on it, I don't care. I'm doing this, doing that, doing that, doing that. You know, my mom was more so like, hey, please make somebody famous see him, please. Just let, let somebody just give him a contract or something. You know, so her energy was that. I feel like her prayers mixed with my determination was just like, just fused to the, you know, the right point where like the highest artist of the, of the time is like, fuck you, you know, but it really just came from me being super focused on the uniqueness of what I do, you know, and um, not being scared to take chances and just being consistent within that. So, you know, my fans and my supporters, they, I feel like they know I'm, I'm mixy, I'm all over the place, you know. Is instrumental mixtapes, is me rapping, is me singing, uh, is me doing the beats, is me writing for somebody, is me doing a, a mix or a score. This is like, I could create and do whatever. Um, and people respect me and fuck with me for that. So I think just being in that zone, being in that mind frame, um, as far as Beyonce specifically, I know that she just respected that and fucked with it. And was like, yo, bring that talent over here. And I was like, all right. And then, lit. you know, Quasi actually Quasi put her onto my stuff initially. Um, and Quasi as well was, you know, supporting this, a fan of my stuff. And we known each other, you know, you know how you know niggas in New York. You just know, cause everybody's at the same thing. Everybody know each other. But um, it was more so him being into specific things I was doing and sending to her, yo, check this out. She's like, yo, bring him in to do this. You know, brought me in to do one thing and I fucking killed that shit. And now I'm here. <laughs> yeah, but you hear that though? Like, I mean, just for a lesson for anybody watching, it's like, th th this man was out here making weekly mix mixes. Weekly, I mean, whole albums. You were coming through with like seven tracks a week. You know what I mean? It wasn't like, and I'm like, oh, and back to back, and back to back. Had your own original sound. As you're talking about, like having the ability to know that you had something that was special, something that you love, and being willing to keep doing that shit without the fucking validation, not giving a fuck because you had a dream, you had an art, you had a talent, you had a vision that mattered and it was yours, and you believed yeah. in you rather than doing everything everybody everybody else is doing. Because what people fail to realize is when you were doing this shit, everybody wasn't doing it. It became right. popularized after the fact, but it was a singular sound. Like you can only get the shit that you were building from you. So there wasn't yeah. other, there wasn't ten other mellows in a situation where you know uh, Quasi or Beyonce would have been like, "Oh, somebody over here is doing that. Oh, it sounds like that. Dude. It sounds like no, no. There was no other. There was not a whole bunch of other people doing. Damn sure not touring. Damn sure not putting out weekly. So it, it proves the point of like you need to believe in some shit, which is you. You need to keep doing that shit over and over again, irrespective of uh, acknowledgement or uh, uh, cosign or whatever." And do it and people will respect you. They will come. You build it, they will come. But you got to believe it first. And you did. And people saw the work ethic at the highest level. And that's incredible to me. It really is. Because somebody would be like, oh, what if Quasi ever showed Beyonce? It would have happened from somebody else. Eventually, he would have took notice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You were you everywhere. Know, and was, you were ubiquitous. Yeah. You know, I, I was definitely flooding the, the, the internets with all the stuff, all the blogs and the tumblers and all that, just like flooding, flooding. And then also just connected and creating with like minds, you know, like Joshua Kissy, um, you know, 
Josh and Trav were like sartorial sounds early on um, when we did that. And me and Jesse doing Zulu Guru together, you know, me and Jasmine with Electric Punani. Um, then just partying. I'm also, I also am a DJ, elite level, top level DJ, party rocking DJ, you know, like I, I, I have, I have crates. I come from, I, I used to have crates of vinyl that I had to bring to the party type shit, you know, that, that level. So everything that I did was, I just do with a level of expertise and just love. If I don't really love it, love it, I'm not going to do it. So, you know, I, I think that just comes through in the music and whoever wants to vibe with that and connect with that and continue to create and add to my legacy as I add to theirs, I'm open to it. If I fuck with them, I'm open to it. So, you know, just creating and being in that realm, just, you know, it, it brought certain people around. And when when those opportunities came, you know, the, it's like time and talent. And I was telling Maruth this other day, time and talent and tenacity, the three T's, you know, it's like uh, the right talent. So your 10,000 hours, 100,000 hours, whatever amount of hours, that talent is A, is there, you know, and the timing is always right. You know, the timing of like having the right talent and the right timing, but the tenacity to stick it through for the timing to hit, for everything to line up, to have that tenacity, like no matter what, I'm still putting in them hours, I'm still killing it. Cause when, when the T's, when they line up, it's like, I'm kicking the door. I'm not looking back, I'm wilding. And that's what I did, so, you know what I mean? So talk to me about, it's funny that you mentioned legacy because that's something I actually really want to talk to you about. So like, what are you, what are you trying to build? Like, Yo, like, you know, I would say at a point, that was, that's another recalibration I had to, I had to realize is like, uh, you know, when I was young, the goal, the goal was to make a living off of what I create. You know, cause I'm like, I'm looking, I'm sitting back, I'm in high school, you know, I'm in, I'm, I've been doing music forever, my whole life, you know, but really putting out like an album that I was like, high school was like heavy. Like everybody knew me as the musical person. You know what I mean? Like I got albums, I got mixtapes, different things. Like I've been doing that for a minute. And the goal was like, make a living off of what I create. Like that's it. If I could do that, I'm happy, I'm fire. Like, that's it, you know? And I did that to the to the highest point for me, you know? But what I realized, perfecting that energy, that thing was like, okay, I'm constantly putting in myself in a position to have to make a living off of what I create, you know? So I'm it. The, the mind frame now for me is continuing my fi financial freedom through what I create, you know? having, a, having a, the crib with the library and the nice backyard from what I create, you know, um, having the freedom to invest in myself, my family, my community, my friends without it being anything, but hey, let me do this today because I want to do that today. That's the energy now, because what I realized, I perfected the make a living off of what I create. I perfected like Oh, I catch a lick, I'm doing this, boom, 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 and then money low, and then, oh, shit, I got to make the living off of what I create again. Oh, yeah, it's lit, but I'm still making the, I'm still putting myself in that position. Um, and that's something that I had to be like, all right, that goal that I had was from a 17-year-old nigga mind state, you know? And I be time traveling. I time travel all the time. I be going back. I be talking to myself like, yo, you did that, yo, you did that. I go back to, I talk to myself in my, in my bedroom, Flatbush, making the beats like, yo, this one right here? Oh, it's gonna be, every time I did something, like my sister would make fun of me. She like, yo, everything you did, you always was like, nah, but this one is about to, I'm about to be it after this. And then it's like, wait for another one and another one. <laughs> Another one. She's like, you all, oh, you know, you always say that, right? You know, you always have said this as a kid, like, yo, the next one, no. But, you know, at going back and time traveling, just like talking to myself 
from back then. I'm like, yo, you did that. Like, you did that. You wanted to be, I wanted to be in the studio. Like, I would buy every Scratch magazine. Scratch magazine, Herb, uh, Computer Music Magazine, Future Music Magazine, um, you know, Scratch, all that, all this, anything that had to do with producer music, whatever, I would read it. I would see what, what you know, my favorite producers are using. I would see them in a studio with all the gear and the big thing. And they like, yeah, I was in the studio working with this person. Then I worked with this person. I did that. And, you know, Pharrell, seeing Pharrell work with a pop artist and then work with like Noriega and then work with this person. And, you know, seeing, um, you know, seeing like the Soul Quarians and did it and all of that. And I go back and I'm like, yo, you did that. You see how you wanted to do all that shit? Yo, you did it. Like you did it, yo. That's lit. You did that. You set your mind to some shit and you seen you seen it all the way through. Now what? You know, now what? You know what I'm saying? Cause I did that. Like I set the goals and I did it. Am I gonna continue just living in that and just that's it? Cool. I did that. I right, this is what work what's working. Let me just keep doing that. Or am I gonna be like, I? Right, that's something that I had set in my mind from 14, from young, 17, all that. I see what 10 to 12 years of going in on that idea. I see where I'm at now from that. I'm in the exact space I want to be. All right, now time to recalibrate. Where I wanna be, what's the goal right now? And 10 years from now, it's gonna be some place that I wasn't even imagining. So what's that C? What's that now? You know, and that shit right now is like, Marlo need the diapers. Marlo need the littest diapers. You know what I mean? Marlo need the backyard with the grass with the motherfucking. You know what I mean? He need the young, zip. Young, young kid need a need a house, baby. Need a big house to run around in. Gee, you know what I mean? Need, need real good education. Eat education. You know needs. Need, you know, I want a library with books. You got a question? Yo, grab that book right there. All right, let's talk about like that's where I'm at now. So that's the goal. And the music, everything I'm creating is in that realm now because I know 10 years from now, 12, I'm probably gonna have a planet. You see what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Compared to saying? what you know, compared to when I was a kid and what I wanted to do and what I thought was, you know what I thought it would be and what it has become, which is far past whatever I was thinking, you know? So I just put that energy right now. And I'm like, all right, so that's, that's the goal right now. That's what I want is, is, you know, it's not just making a living off of what I create, you know, I have the financial freedom to do what I want, what I choose through my creations and my endeavors and my investments, making sure my money works for itself and it's part of a cycle and not just, you know, I had to get out of the idea of creating, making bread off of what I created, putting it back into creating. Make some bread. Ooh, I got more bread now to put back into what I created. And then, you know what I'm saying? It's like you feeding, you, you're, you're, you're feeding, you know, when you pick, when you grow a tree, you grow a plant, you grow a thing, it's like, you plant the seed, it grows, the fruits come through. Ooh, nice fruit. All right, now let me bring this and put it in a different soil. You can't keep planting in the same soil. The soil is something you're like, eh. You, like, you know, you got to plant in this soil. You got to yeah. put it over there. Right, put it over there. So now when that tree grows, new fruit. And the, tree, the fruit come on, I could be like, all right, let, let me put that over here with this one. All right, that one, ooh, that's going to be over here. This, this little tree right here is specifically yeah. for diapers. That <laughs> nothing else but the diapers. Woo, lit. I, right. you know, that's my mind state now, not just creating the art for the sake of just creating it. And nah, you know, it's, it's really using it as a superpower because that's my superpower, you know. Absolutely, man. Everything that you said right there was beautiful. It needed, it needed to be heard. It needed to be heard because I think a lot of, you know, a lot of us as artists, we believe that. The art shouldn't sustain us. The art should only sustain us at best, but it shouldn't. It should grow. It should be our legacy. It should be what gets us the house. It should be what gets us, you know, a, a, a stable family life. It should be what puts our kids through school. It should be what gives the kid a, a starting place. The best, the best, the best that we can give them, the best is what they should get. And it should be something that our grandchildren can eat off of. 
this is these are not regular talents, so you shouldn't have regular outcomes. You should be right. have, you should be able to have generational wealth if that you, if you choose to have it that way. Like you talk yeah. about fruit, put your some of your fruit in real estate, put some of your fruit in stocks, put some of your fruit in other investments, put some of your music in your title, in, in, in your masters. <laughs> you know, that shit is yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like this is what happens because when Marlo grows up, he knows that his father set him up for him to have a head head start. And that's what I think a lot of us don't realize. We're starting from zero, trying to get to one, and then keep going back to zero, spending our money on dumb shit, and then having to start, go back to one again. I'm trying to get to 10. I'm trying to get to 100. I'm trying to get to a million. I'm trying to get to a trillion. And I know yeah. a lot of us, we've never had the, those jewels, but now we're getting it. And it's just about every single person telling us and every person like putting out in the ether. It has to keep going. Every dollar that you get got to get you a dollar in the future. Mm -hmm. And everything that you build and you're trying to do, got to make sure that shit is self-sustained and makes us money while you're sleeping and so forth and so on. Yeah, just that was another goal of mine. Like, I need to make more bread while I'm asleep. You know, which being a musician is amazing because you get royalties. You know, you get every every quarter, you're going to see something from what you've made, what your name is associated to, what kind of business you've done, if you've done good business or bad, you know, depending on, on that, you're going to see a certain percentage. There's mad different ways to get bread. So, but my thing was like, okay, that's lit, but I'm only getting money in my sleep from a specific aspect of my life and what I do. Like that needs to be, that needs to vary. That needs to be various, not just from this one specific thing that if I stop making music today, then it's just a wrap. It was a wrap, you know what I mean? Like, nah, I gotta, I gotta diversify my bonds, nigga. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> we took it by natural. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying. For real, me. Yeah, you got to get by. But it matters because it's like, I, I think before in the past, it's even, I won't even lie, up to last year, my brain was just like, art, 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 create, 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 you know, do the day job thing, use that money to fund the art with no consideration of like, where's that other money going? What is the excess money going? Into dumb shit, into, I mean, status yeah. singling shit. That's really not status singlers. They all depreciate in assets. They all depreciate in value. They don't yeah. build you in your youngest legacy. You can't send that down to nobody. You can't, you know, nope. you, my names are, and my name was, I wasn't putting my name on no buildings, essentially. You know, right. and it's just yeah. like, I, I realized it was a false consciousness. It was a really a defeating thing. It's like, you can't be trying to build and you're not really building with shit that's going to lie. You're building with sand and not stone. Yeah. You know, and yeah. so what do you expect? It's going to crumble when some water comes by. And last year it was the water for a lot of people, right? And, and, and hopefully yeah. it was an awakening in a sense where people yeah. realize you got to start building with stronger products and building with stronger uh, sorry, foundation. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. We're, we're just not getting young. We're not young anymore. Like we're not early thirties, mid thirties or whatever. And it's like, you know, people are getting married, having children and, you know, and then it's like, it really is the conversation. I was even having this conversation with Josh last night up to like two o'clock, you know, mm -hmm. and just talking to him just about like, you know, what are the legacies that we're building? What are the things that we're passing down to the younger generation to, you know, potential children in the future to potential, you know, nephews, nieces, et cetera, et cetera. And we have to be that we have to be that new generation of like you know information. Mm -hmm. What are we doing to give back in, in a sense? You know, and I, I just love what you're saying right now because it's what people need to hear. People will be like, oh, I want to be a DJ. Okay, yeah, do the DJ thing, but make sure whatever money that you're making the DJ, split half of that into something that's gonna sustain you outside of the DJ thing. So when you need some extra bread to put into the DJ thing, to pay for your touring, to take pay for equipment, there's something over here for you to use to finance the dream. And then that big yeah. becomes, you know, whatever your Yeezy or your, you know, your your your, your Cognac company or whatever it is, whatever you, your, whatever it is. But yeah. you just got to really be not just multifaceted artists, but multifaceted like multi multifaceted planners, multifaceted farmers. Yeah, like everything got to grow, as you talked about with your tree and the analogy. Every there got to be multiple trees with multiple fruit. Because mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. I want I may want chicken one night. I may want, you know what I mean? I may, I may want veggie. Yeah. I may be in my veggie stuff. I may want cabbage. If you only got a chicken tree, all you, all you got is chicken. Well, you yeah. need to have a well-rounded diet, mentally, physically, emotionally, yep. financially, et cetera. You got to be a full being. It's not a crime no more. Fuck this broke shit. That's what I realized too the last few years of just like, you know, because for me, even in all of my music, I've all, and this is what I create everything, you know, I've always been on, on a, you know, it's the God, God, like, you know, just really empowering myself and in the music, you know, just talking about different ways to empower yourself or just the knowledge, wisdom, understanding that I'm getting from everything, you know, and I realized at a certain point that like that, that level of my spirituality is, you know, is constantly learning, constantly growing. And 
is on this level of when I have those conversations, those deep conversations spiritually and just about, you know, esoteric knowledge and, sh and shit like that. It's like, it's great combos, it's great things and I build, but that shit is so high. I need the physical part of life to be as lit. It has to be a balance. It can't be this over here and this over here. Like, nope, everything is going to be so spiritually I'm here and financially and business-wise and career and as a father I'm here and as a husband, as a friend, as a, as a brother, as a mentor, everything is, everything needs to be lit. Everything got to be on that same level, you know? Um, Cause a lot of times we are taught to separate them things, you know, and separate and like, you know, if you, if like, you know, the, the, the hood analogy, which I feel like is a little less now, but it still is, is just like, if you make money, money, oh, Illuminati devil, oh yeah, no. Nah. You had to do something to get that big. And you just, it's like, nah, maybe that person is just fucking real good and focused on what they do and is not scared by all this dumb shit that society and people put in our heads as roadblocks, invisible roadblocks. Sometimes you don't even, I be, I, I have this thing, it's like niggas gonna think is a thought form. Like niggas gonna think like, I would do that, but niggas gonna think. And somebody will not, niggas will stay in the same place because niggas gonna think something about them for what they really wanna do. You know what I'm saying? And that. Niggas gonna think becomes a thought form. That becomes a person that's behind you. You doing something, and then the nigga gonna think you like, fuck you. What you think you doing? Oh, that's fun. But niggas gonna think you be like, ah, let me just go back to the. Let me just do the same shit because niggas gonna think. It can be people will be defeated by that that person right there. That energy that. That energy right there, and it comes in many different ways, but it's really, you know, understand, like for me, I understood like, oh, I'm creating that. Like, okay, people are creating that. Like, especially meeting certain people, meeting, you know, um, even with like Beyonce and shit, just, you know, Jay or uh, all the different artists I've worked with, from Frank to everybody is like, Oh, I'm getting to be in the room and seeing the sweat equity for real. Like, oh, okay, sweat equity. I see, I see, I see. It's like, I see how you get to a level, you use your expertise to put other people in positions and levels to help your thing go even further and further and then build on that. And then, okay, now you built that. All right, now here's another revenue stream or another creative outlet I right, now here's a team around that to keep to make that grow as well all right cool here's it like not being scared of, of your own power you know mm. really not being scared of it and then also not having whatever society created to hold you back really seeing it for what it is and be like you know what I'm not even gonna think like that no more I'm not even gonna communicate or speak from that place anymore and that shit will change everything you know like this, like uh, a lot of people be like, you know, the matrix, it's the matrix, didn't you know? I'm like, this is a matrix creating reality. That's what it is. This is the space where you can create your own matrix. You know what I mean? Like Neo should have been like, yo, I ain't taking these fucking pills from you. Who are you? I know I've been researching and trying to look, at, look you up, but now you want to give me some pills. You know what? Now I know that this shit is fucked up. I'm gonna leave and figure this shit out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's the real, that's the, that's the real shit. Like, okay, this is a matrix builder place. You can build your own. And if your matrix says, nigga, you will never get that big. You will never get that bread. You will never do that da, 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 because for you to do that, you have to be aligned with this. So you have to be this kind of person or niggas gonna think. If that's your matrix, then the agent's gonna come out. You already defeated. <laughs> you know what I'm mean? saying? Yeah, so 
you know, I really, I really just tapped into like, I right, spiritually, mentally, like I'm here. I need all my physical, all the physical sweat equity I put in. I need it to match. I need to focus on where I'm putting my time. And I need to have way better time management skills. Like, especially with a child is like, I got really no time to waste for real. <laughs> like I might've had some before, but I really don't got no time to waste. So, you know. This, this having to, and then also understanding like there was a part of my life where I kept thinking about death. I was like, damn, I'm gonna die tomorrow. Am I gonna die? What's gonna happen? Die, death, death. And it's like, nah, an aspect of you needs to die. Like that aspect of you needs to, that like struggling artist who want to come up in the E, I'm doing it. Do, do, do. That is cool, but now that phases out. You know that that side that aspect is is dead, and now is from that from those ashes, a, a new energy rises from that now, which is okay. Now I had now I have that capacity in my rolodex of of uh you know of of um of life. I could always tap back into that energy, but right now where I'm at is daddy now daddy daddy right here. That's the new birth. That's the new nigga right there. You know, that version of me still, I'm still here. Yeah, but that mind state, that thing got it dead off. Dead that. You know what I'm saying? Because just that will, you know, certain mentalities will just hold you, hold you back and also will tell your matrix how it's going to communicate. So when I started being like, you know what? I'm changing all my business shit, yo. Management. Or my management at the time, yo, I'm not, I'm not, uh, it's not working. Boom, yo, lawyer at the time, it's not working, yo. You had, you, you had you, a cleanse. And yeah, I, I cleanse for real, like everything, real, bro. Everything, like I, right. and when I started doing that and thinking a certain way and handling the business certain, and being like, right, I know we've been doing business like this for this amount of time, but now let's start doing business like this. This is how I'm moving forward you want to continue doing business with me da, 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 da. and just seeing how much more doors open up how how bigger the budgets became just for me mentally doing it mm, this is great this and is because great. of how i created my matrix and because i fully understand my power of it like the matrix moves how i say my matrix moves how i tell it how i say and then it brings me things that i'm not even fathoming i'm not even thinking about, you know, everything to like, and that's the, one of the most randomest thing to the most uh, super planned out thing. Everything from like, you know, me and Corey will be like, yo, we need to drink more water, yo. Yeah, we're gonna drink more water now, all right? And then tomorrow or the next day, a random uh, package from you know one of these companies that have us on the list will send us like two boxes of life water just on the doorstep knock knock here's water you know what I'm saying just like easy like easy just like that because of how we communicate with life with ourselves and believe in our power for real you know what I'm saying and really understand like what we say the power of our words and our mind what we do it's like it resonates and it comes back quick. Sometimes it's slow, sometimes it's quick, but we, you know, she's definitely helped me uh, bring that power even further than I was, than I thought, you know? Like that guy, guy shit is for real, for real. You know, it just ain't saying it for a hashtag, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's the God in me, yeah. see the God in you. It's the God, God, like, it's the God, God, like, God. You don't see it's the God? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> exactly. No, every, everything, every, literally every single thing that you're saying, I'm just like, I don't got to say nothing. <laughs> you, you just, you, you audit like in a different, different type of way, bro. I see, you know, yeah. The portals and the gateways definitely have opened for you, bro. Like the way you're living, the things that you're talking about, the clarity of, of, of the vision and life and, and purpose that you're talking about, I think it's, it's just, it's super refreshing and inspiring to hear it even from my end because it just, it, where you are, it proves that the thinking that I'm trying to implement, the thinking that I'm, I'm, I'm moving into and have been moving into, it works. Yeah. When you just yeah. roll into your purpose and don't fear yourself and be yourself more, not less. Anytime someone says, oh, what you doing? I'm being me. I'm being me more, not being yeah. you less. Yeah. Don't try to put yourself in a box that you wasn't built for. Yeah. You. 
create, creating your own matrix. If it's all control, make it your, your control system, make it your paradigm. Yeah. Make it something that works for you and not for others, yeah. where you don't feel yeah. constrained and you every day's a every day's a battle of you know blood and bone just trying to you know pay rent, you know, just trying to get through. Like this, not it's not no abundance mindset stuff. It's like no, I am the abundance. Forget abundance is coming to me. No, I am the abundance. It yeah. all extends from. Me. Oh yeah, I did, you know, whole, like I did a whole thing on abundance like a year or two ago where I was really just focused on, I right, what is a what is the abundance me you know what I mean like and what are all the different aspects of abundance that I have like you know even everything everything from like like an example is okay I create music I you know I create I have beats I have an abundance of beats and I don't be sending them to artists I don't be sending you know, I like to create with somebody in the studio. That's always my thing. That's why I never really sent a lot of them. I'm like, yo, I want, I, if we could get in the studio, we're going to be lit. And every time, obviously, you know, it's lit, boom. But it's like, for where I want to go creatively, financially, just life, everything, everything has to flow. So all of this beats and music and stuff that's just in this folder that I'm just waiting for the session so I can play the stuff is like, you have an abundance of, of things like every week you should be sending beat packs and so i was like that's right i have an abundance of things that's just sitting there there's a bunch of gold in the corner and just i'm waiting for like a meeting to go and grab the gold when i can take portions of it package it nice here you go boom 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 i got 20 folders and things out and something will lick lick from that rather than just sitting there waiting. So just seeing the abundance in the different, you know, even information, I was like, y'all got mad information. Like at more than anything else, what I have is information. So just for, for me with that, I was like, I gotta give information that I just started working with uh, different artists back in, in Brooklyn. Like there's a group called Next Gen out in New York that I just started working with mentoring and just you know being inspired by them as much as they was inspired by me and just being like here's a contract like all right we're gonna get on the phone with the lawyers everybody we're gonna sit go through each line of the shit and understand what each thing we yo come to the studio yo this is an ad lib this is a mix yo, this is how this because i more than anything else i got information you know like yo don't sign this kind of thing don't you know what i mean it ain't fly till the ink dry you know, little, you know, old, old nigga sayings and shit, coming up with my own shits. Like, it ain't fly till the ink dry. Did the ink dry? Like, every, all the business is good. Then it's, then it's lit. Until then, don't get gas. Because every, these companies, people will, will sell you shit with some gold wrapped around it. Mm. You know what I mean? And you'll take it thinking it's gold and realize. So, you know, just things like that. Just like every, it, just finding the abundance in all the, in the different different things that I had an abundance of that I can plant, you know, and grow and water and just see where that, you know, like I did like even working with the kids with next gen and, and just friends, you know, I have friends that, you know, been locked up before or friends is like, I ain't going back. I'm like, oh, lit work. I ain't good. every morning we get come to be on my stoop every morning. We gonna talk, you gonna figure this out, yo. Here's an app that I'm creating. This is the app developer. This is how this shit works. This is how this side works. Yo, cryptocurrency. And this is how this works. Do, do, do. Yo, oh, you got more info on it? Yo, teach me, please. Like, all right. Let me take my note. Let me get my pad out and take the notes. Oh, lit. Then I come here, learn, boom. Then I call back. Yo, this is what I learned today about the shit. Yo, check it. You know what I'm saying? Just really taking, taking the time to see all the different kinds of abundance that I had and how to utilize that you know and not just have to be stagnant just be abundant for the sake of abundance this know? is important man because what you're talking about right now is really how you know community is built how mm -hmm. is built. Because everybody think you can google everything and sometimes the google is you sometimes the google is your closest person and we all have values and experiences that no one else can bring and you're never going to be able to google right yeah. and sometimes it's the right person telling you the information that makes it register we all can't we all got you know there's like a saying you know, when the student is ready, the teacher appears. Right. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So it's like everybody, you have to have the right teacher. Sometimes. When the student is ready, the teacher been there. There you go. <laughs> there you go. That too. 
That too. That's actually a fact. That's actually even bigger fact than that. When it was ready, you'd be like, oh, yeah, exactly. you was the teacher. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Let's, let's keep going. But the are important because it's like people, we need to just have like an understanding that the information that we have, we all have it collectively, but we're not really having the mechanism to share it, which is the reason why this whole shit is called sharing. Because it's yeah. like, who, how else is anybody going to get into contact with Melo X to hear the things that you're talking about? Yeah. They, hear, they hear about giving it back, they hear about giving back what you're doing, the jewels, the abundance, your mindset. Because people think it's about, oh, let's come on, come on here, come on here, and we'll have a discussion about your resume. Like, right. like, like that's going to help anybody get there. It doesn't help. What they need to hear is what you've been talking about. Oh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a farmer, bro, of these ideas. I'm a farmer in my soul. I plant music. I plant art. I plant creativity. I plant everything, and I just watch it grow. And everything that you've been saying, that's what it is. I plant it to people. I watch them. I give them seeds. They, they build their trees. They come mm. back. I get some of their fruit. It goes into me. Do that yep. with my son. Do that with my fiance. Do that with my music. Do that with the, my, my business partners. All I'm hearing is sharing. All I'm hearing is a person that's a straight up fucking farmer, bro. The information that you're sharing right now is not regular. The things that you create is not regular. And it's so much of it. It's incredible, bro. It's a blessing. It truly is. I appreciate it, man. No, I'm just being honest. The, 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 the stuff that you're doing, it, this is high level execution, bro. Somebody, uh, this, somebody would spend a whole year trying to put one tape out. Yeah. Right? Am I right or wrong? Here's yeah. a problem you were doing one. I'm not even joking. There was a, a track a week in a, in, a, in a whole collection a month. Yeah. Facts. <laughs> iteration. Like people say, fail quickly, right? Because yeah. the, quicker you, the quicker you fail, the more quicker you can succeed. And there's no way to succeed without multiple failures. Yeah. It's all learning, yo. It's like, is when, is you either win or you learn. Or you learn how to win next time. Mm. Ain't no losses. Is a, is a different kind of win, you know? It's like the win was that you went through it and got the, you got it planted in your mental now, how that went, how that thing, and now you're going to go back and calibrate, boom, and then next time you're going to win better. Matter of the next time you might learn some more. You might learn, you might keep learning, learning, and then that one win is like, whoo, all that learning hit, hit, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? So I even see it as losses, like, wins and you learn shit you know what i mean because lose is really the mentality like obviously it's numbers it's like it's going to be a number one first place and it's going to be a second place it's going to be you know that's how this matrix that's how that works you know but within that you can you can take what you learn and the experience and expand on it always and not have it be something that deters you or you know slows you down or stops you from believing in yourself you know what i mean Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. I like that Bob Marley in the back too. I see oh, that. Little, yeah, little right there. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Okay, I got a Frank one too. I need to get one of you. Ooh, <laughs> a little wild painting. It's very, very nice. I like that. Yeah, it's, pretty, it's like some Jamaican, some Jamaican paints I just found on eBay. Random. It should have been right. way, way more expensive. Flat. <laughs> it should have been way more expensive, but I appreciate him sharing his speak, appreciate him sharing, sharing his talents. But it just but it just goes to show, I mean, everything that you're talking about, it just goes to show the the you know the, the importance of just the, the the influences. Just I mean we're talking about Bob, both Jamaican, both from Yad. You know, you're talking about creating music for the, the aunties back home. Like when you think about Jamaica, like what you got any visions for that? Going back, doing something there, or just oh yeah. You know, I right for right now, my main goal is to, as far as right now, is to plan a real good trip. You know, Corey's never been out there. I've been saying I'm gonna bring her out there and just been lying. <laughs> I've been dragging my feet. But I'm like, all right, now nah, we go, we gonna go out there because I have so much family. Like even today, my aunt was showing showing me her mango tree, and her breadfruit tree. She like, yo, the breadfruit soon bust. Da, da, da. Like the mango's busting, but it ain't dead yet. Like it's still green. You know, people be walking by and picking, and she like, yo, that my pick off in mango there, my dad. I'm like, all right, yeah. you know. But I, I I want her to experience that, especially Marlo. Like I have a lot of old just VHS and just videos and photos of me being there. Like I, I was going to Jamaica before I could remember type shit, you know? So I definitely want to just bring that energy. Cause I know for me growing up and being out there for one, I always, we always had like barrels. So we always sent 
school clothes and things there. So I would go there and see my cousins or nephews like wearing some of the stuff I had from last year or whatever, you know. So I always understood the idea of staying connected to those portals and those places where like my a lot of my family came from in the present day type shit, you know. Um, so I always, always want to not just give back, but actually plant a tree there, plant something there that's going to grow even when I'm not there, it's growing. And I don't know what that is yet, but I know my superpower is this fucking music. And that's why I'm channeling a lot of that right now. You know, what I'm creating, how I'm creating, what I'm saying, how I'm saying it, who I'm speaking to. Um, as far as production and music and just the vibes, you know, I, right now that's that's where I'm at. But where where it will go and what I'll be able to create out there, um, you know, I'm not. I don't know yet. I don't know what that's gonna look like specifically. I just know I want to be there. I want to go there. I want to spend more time, learn. You know, I got friends. This my my cousin Javinci. He's a he's a very respected and well known artist out there. And, you know, just connecting with him more and learning about the industry out there, the pitfalls, the good, the bad, how I can help in any way to add to, you know, the lexicon of artists and music and producers and everything that's come from that space, you know. Like, I'm a child of Lee Scratch Perry, definitely, and King Tubby and all that energy, you know, those producers and creators that created something that, they didn't even, you know, like Lee Scratch, people don't like Lee Scratch Perry and, and King Tubby. Playing mics under, yeah, planting mics in the soil next to trees. I mean, yo, everything from just everything from how they were using the reverbs, how they were using the effects, inspire shit. The whole idea of a remix, mm. you know, remix period. The shit was recorded like this, and now we doing a different version and putting it. That wasn't no. That wasn't you. Wasn't doing that. It was either a cover, you know. There was a lot of covers or uh, a re singing of the same song. There's a lot of songs, a lot of like soul music or you know a lot of music that we know from a specific artist like an Aretha Franklin or like a you know whoever. There's a ver there's an older version of it that was probably lit at its time. And then they did their version, and that's the one that we know. But we don't even know like the the other version they did and the other one. But you know, Lee Scratch Perry was more like, yo, we're gonna take this beat and my my cousin over there come through and do something new to it. We're gonna put it on wax and then take it to the party tomorrow as a dub or a, that wasn't even. You know what I mean? That's pe that's that's them. That's them doing. You know, and that's why I do it how I do it because that was them just believing a hundred percent. Whatever they doing is it's lit. Is it don't matter if it's just my village, my people right here that's gonna be happy with it at the at the party at the next joint. That's that's what I'm caring about, and you see where that where that resonates. You know, you see how they just like you were talking about before. You believed in they believed in their superpower. Oh, so, yeah. You know what, let me make a big point, because sometimes I feel like I'm watering down some of the things I'd be saying on this show and people think that, like, why is he so animated? Where is he coming from? This is what I'm really trying to get across with all of this. We're all special. Yeah. We all have special energy. We all come from a special place. We all have a legacy history. We literally come from the people that started this whole entire world. Yeah. The source, the essence. That's, all, that's everybody, right? There's a special power that's inside of all of us, a special person, the reason why we're here. And this sort of like structure that we've all been put in, put in with schools and this and jobs and careers and these little nicely manicured cured paths are other people's dreams for you, not your dream, not your power. That's, I don't know, a Vanderbilt or a Rockefeller or whatever person's a Western idea's dream of your purpose in life, which is ridiculous. And all of us are, are saying to ourselves, oh, we should all fit in these little like nicely manicured, already like plowed and paved roads rather than go build your own fucking road, build your own Wakanda, whether in your brain, your soul, your spirit or your mind or your country. I know where I'm from, from Yad, Jamaican. Yeah. So the country of everything, the country of, of, of birth, sound, global, the, big, the, the biggest, smallest place in the world, right? And we know where that's from. That's from Ghana, that's from Nigeria, that's from the source. So can nobody tell me where my pride is from? Can nobody tell me I'm yeah. not special? So when yeah. someone, so I was in this delusion myself of believing that, 
oh, you're supposed to be a business person. You're supposed to be somebody else's employee, right? No, you're supposed to be the boss of your life, the God of your own life. But, you know, the energy that you, we just have to live, we just have to be in it more. Realize that yeah. superpower is what you're supposed to be doing. We just don't believe in ourselves enough because we see other people doing things and say, oh, let's follow. And rather than having the faith and the risk and the belief in something bigger than yourself, which is really truly back to you mm -hmm. and saying that that can work for me. That's what I'm supposed to be doing. That could be you being a teacher. That's fine. Yep. You're the teacher that you want to be and not the teacher that somebody else is telling you to be. Facts. Dr. CB. <laughs> if you want to be, oh, I want to help people. I want to do what, maybe you need to be Dr. CB and not a freaking you know, chiropractor, right? Yeah. But, but people are not doing the mental and spiritual work, the true work to do it. They're just looking at money and, oh, if I get it quick, that's going to lead me to something. That could be the financial wellness, but what are you building? What are your true skills? What are you passing along to the next generation? What could you tell your son that a book can't tell him? Yep. What's your experience? What yep. is special about you? Where you're from? At least what you know from it. These are the things that we need to connect back with. These are the, that's true community. That's mm -hmm. true legacy. My legacy ain't gonna be how much money I got in Bitcoin. My true legacy ain't gonna be, you know, some degree that somebody gave me from some school that somebody made up and put on a wall. This shit don't mean nothing. The true essence, yeah. the true essence is what you are and what you're gonna, what you can, what you can extend to your family and those that are around you, building true community. You talked about Beyonce and Jay-Z and all these other people building and possessing and doing that sweat equity. What do, what do you do when you build a road for yourself? Other people can come on that road toll free now. A road that wasn't there before, it was just dirt. You, yeah. Mellow X, making music, not even why, just building, believing in your superpower, creating lanes for other people because you didn't build those new roads. And then what happens? You have a whole entire city. Now you have buildings, structures, hospitals, internally as a community, but then bigger into the world, into the universe. Yeah. I mean, go ahead, man. I'm, 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 I'm just talking <laughs> nonsense. I, I'm, I'm sure I'm just talking shit to some people, but the people that get it, they understand what I'm saying. Oh, Only yeah. Do you, do you, yeah. above all else. Yeah, yo. You, 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 like, you focus on that's the other thing too is like i realized how much more selfish i needed to be mm. with my time and with my mental space with how i who i give energy to like really being selfish you know because that's the thing too having a child um and just growing up you know i i was always just told like you gotta do every you do everything for your kid everything is for your kid da -da 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 -da. And it's like, I right, yeah, to an extent, I get it. But if you don't leave anything for yourself, then you're not going to be the best you for your kid. You know what I mean? So there's a level of, I right, I got to actually start being selfish with my time. I actually, you know what? I can't do that today. I can't, I can't even, I can't never do, I can't be in that mentality ever again. Certain mentalities, like I can't even be in that mentality anymore. No because it's not conducive to me being a, a father. So I just gotta be real selfish with my time. Like, gotta be real into myself, into me, bettering me. Even though I'm in a unit, me and Corey are, are a unit together, but she is her own and I'm my own. And we both are in the goal of bettering self. Me, 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 better myself because I'm gonna be a better husband, I'm gonna be a better father, I'm gonna be a better musician, I'm gonna be a better I'm mean, going to be all the things is going to be so lit so that there's no stress being put in these things so I could be the best dad. You know what I mean? I don't want to be the best dad and then there's, uh, there's nothing coming from everything else that I'm doing because it's just, I just got to make sure father, that's it. So I got to make sure I'm, yeah, it's definitely facts. I have to be the, I have to make sure I'm the best father, but I got it. For me to be the best father, I got to be the best me. My, I have to be straight men mentally. I have to be straight spiritually. I have to be a hundred percent so that for him, I could be 10,000%. You know what I'm saying? And that just comes with real life. The real life for me, like, I right, there's a level of selfishness that I need. Like, you know, maybe like, yo, the, the children are the future. Like, it's all, it's going to be, it's in the hands of the kids, but they growing up in the land that we create, they don't make this shit. <laughs> They ain't making the buildings that they about to go to school in. They not making, they not creating a curriculum that they gotta go through. They not, uh, they not, they not creating the systematic, um, the, the oppressive systematic ways that, that trickles into every part of society. They not creating it. They just growing up in it and saying, dad, dad, go here, dad, dad, cool. Because you, you're their God. 
They don't know nothing else. Mongo know nothing else but mommy and daddy. That's it. That's what he know as his, you know what I mean? Your child is, you, you, if you tell, depending on how you raise your child, how you tell them you walk down that block right now, make a left, they're going to listen to you like it's the golden rule. And they don't know what's over there in that corner. They don't know what the walk is going to be like, but they know, hey, daddy said do it. Mommy said to do that, so I'm going to do it. So it's us that have to create, that have to be mentally right. We got to raise our children mentally right and, and also unlearn shit and learn shit, especially in this toxic, especially this place that's built for men to be able to just be wicked and, and be good. You know what I'm saying? All of that, like, they, we, we got to set the tones. We got to recalibrate. We got to do all the different work so that they can see like, okay, this is the world that they built. Oh, this is, this is the, these are the things they was trying to change. All right, let me add to that or add my piece to that and, and grow. You know, they're not just come, they're not just gonna create the shit themselves because we were all children as well. We was, you know, seeing my son is like, yo, I was that age. Like seeing him run, yo, he runs up, down, left, right, not stop. I'm like, that was me. That was me, up, down, boom, boom. But now I got a fridge with food, filled with food. You know what I'm saying? Now I got a car that's filled with gas that I can go somewhere in. But fast forward 35 or whatever amount of years before, I was him just up, down. You know what I mean? And my mom had an idea of the world, you know? And she had an idea and she was like, yo, just get, her, her shit was just get to America. <laughs> like my mom literally thought that the streets had gold, was paved with gold, like literally as a oh, kid. Facts. It's like game, not, not an imaginary. Same. She thought she was gonna come and be able to touch the ground, like wow, it's gold. She came and seen crap, fucking <laughs> all types of other shit when she nah, came. Like, like, would be like, foreign? Y'all go, y'all go. It was like a thing, it was big. Uh, yo, it was a big going deal. to foreign, like, and you know I me, mean? I got I have a lot of family that was here illegally. That guy here and was like, oh, this shit is, you know, you like my, my, I remember my, my aunt actually who I was talking to, like she was one of the first, I feel like all, all the families, um, you know, and you could probably speak to this uh, from Jamaica or whatever, but, you had that one relative that came through and then it was like, all right, everybody comes. So that's where everybody stay for a while and then they go off, you know? So my aunt was that, like my mom came and was sleeping next to my aunt, next to the couch that my aunt was sleeping on to eventually having a whole own house that my aunt can come and stay. Shout out to your aunt, dude. And my aunt was like, yo, like my mom, she, uh, she 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 was here and she needed she needed work and my aunt was like yo i'm gonna get you some interviews to be like a maid you know maid clean up all that you know what i'm saying take care of uh uh, uh white people kids <laughs> all that you know what i'm saying that so that's crazy. what she came here that's what she was doing but she was doing interviews and it was like you know so what's your goals you know what do you want to do and my mom's like yo i came here to better my life like, I want to get education. I want to build a family. I want to save and really, uh, you know, I don't want to go back to Jamaica empty handed or I want to be able to help. That's all my mom did. Like, my aunt, one of my aunts or family members, like, she would just send breath and then build a house. Like, we first go there, it's like half of the house is bricks, it's like mash it. Next time we go, another part of the house is built. The fourth time you go, like, oh, you got the whole house now, like yeah. So all them little checks she was giving, boom. So she's telling them that yo, this is what I want to do. Not getting no, no job. They all work. No, no job, no job. My mom, like, yo, no, I'm not getting no job. My aunt is like, I, right, where y'all say, where y'all say when you when you meet them. My way I talk. She like, she told him, yo, I'm trying to get better. I'm trying. She like, that's not how that shit work here, y'all. She like, let them know you don't care about nothing but their family. Right. <laughs> like, let them know that I have no goals at all but to make sure your family is good and your house is clean because that's really what's in my heart. 
And my mom was like, oh, cause my mom is, she came from a Christian church. You gotta tell the truth, don't lie. Did it? Like, yeah, this is a different matrix here though. It's different. She got, she got the next job she went to. I know that for a fact. That's what the they next one she went to with that mentality, Bob, she good, she got it. But you, you know, know like, somebody, somebody wants you to dedicate their life to them so they can absorb it into their family so they can build and make their legacy bigger. I got friends and that, my- and that might not, and that's, that's not your goal. That's not what yeah. you want. But at that time, the mentality of the people that she had to deal with, everybody around, like at that time, my aunt knew the game. My aunt knew how this matrix worked. My aunt was like, no, I'm creating my own matrix, which, which says, I'm going to tell y'all whatever y'all need to hear so I can get myself right. And yes, bring um, my family and bring my community and bring people here so that we can all continue to get ourselves right so that one day it could be a me here. You know what I'm saying? So, yo, she had vision, bro. Your aunt, your mom. These, this is big vision. Vision. Is, yeah, I mean, people don't understand. When I, everything I was this saying. Just, these seven days we talking about. This is not, you know, this is, it's a different time they was in, yo. You know, so I, I you know, and, and understanding that and seeing that in my eye. So it's my goal to do, my job to do the same thing. You know, it's my job to do my version of it now, you know. My version. You know, I just hope that we're seeing it. I just hope that we're seeing what you're saying and we're getting the, the, the full spectrum because I get the, I get everything that you're saying and I see the big vision and I'm hopefully that we get it across. But people need to understand that this is the reasons why we need to build for ourselves and do these things for ourselves and have bigger vision and can think about community and family as we do it and not just these short term things where your name gets dissolved into nothing. Your aunt had the vision to say, I'm gonna do whatever it took. I don't even know what her story was to even get here, much less to be a bring most of her family here. She was mm-hmm. the gateway, the portal maker, the opener. Yep. And that led to you. Grammy yeah. nominations and Beyonce. Do you understand how big her vision was? She built the road. Am I right? She built the road. And if she didn't take that chance, where would where would you guys be? Probably in Jamaica someplace still doing, doing well, but not at this level. Yeah. Or, you know, I'm sure we would have, I'm sure everything would have been everything. But for me, I had goals as a kid. And because of the groundwork she made, it allowed me to express myself and have the freedom of going in on these goals and really tapping into myself and having the time and the freedom to do that and not, you know, being in a different circumstance where it would have been something different. You know, everybody's thing is different, but I know for me and how I was able to do it, how my mom was able to do it was from these lessons and just that person doing it or coming here and going through the groundwork and I'm sure when my aunt came here, she, she was going to turn down that mad shit and she had to figure out like, oh, okay, got to play the game. I got this is a different game out here. Okay, cool. And once she, it clicked, she made sure it clicked with my mom. My mom like, oh, word, oh. Then my mom made sure it clicked with me. And then now I'm going to make sure it clicked. You know, exactly. so, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, click and keep clicking for generations, exactly. Yep. And that's the yeah. thoughts now. Until they don't need to click no more, and it right? is what it is. And it's, it's just it's, music. <laughs> you know what I mean, your life it just becomes music. Man, you know what I'm saying? No, seriously, seriously, mm-hmm. like that's that's. Beautiful, man. Mm-hmm. I don't know, man. Hopefully, we're just getting the lessons and, and seeing the teachings and realizing, you know, that's how legacy is built. Is you know, someone someplace, hopefully in your like your, your your family or someone else who's a big you know a big a big person that's important in the culture. You know, they 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 throw out a light, and everybody can now see something they never saw before. Go on a road that was didn't exist before, and you know you follow it. And I think that's the reason why. Again, we're talking about superpower powers, following your dream. You know, time traveling, all these different things. Like all these people needed to be here. Everybody had a everybody has a purpose. Your aunt ain't Mellow X, but she's your aunt to make Mellow X. You know, yeah. it's like that old Tupac shit about like you know I may not be the person that create, that does the change, but I may be the, the, the one that sparks the brain mm-hmm. and the change. And then we all got to be realizing that we're here just to spark. Like this is endless. We're here for endless inspiration to, for the next generation. I want some real shit. Yep. And if you're not doing your part to create that inspiration and whatever it is, it could be on a small level. It could be for one person. It may not be for your, for your whole world, <laughs> but it's just as important. Because you could be your aunt. That could be your role yep. in the family. Yeah. It all matters. You know, perspective is definitely like there's no, there's, especially when it comes to inspiration or this change or this uh, expanding um bettering yourself evolving there's no quantifiable like 
way of saying this is small and this is big and this is, is all just the energy. You know what I mean? Because one person could change one mind and that one mind can inspire or, uh, you know, can inspire generations, can inspire millions or can hurt generations and hurt millions for years and eons or whatever, you know, that one mind that did that one, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's all just about the energy and just really your energy and what you want to put and what you want to bring to yourself, to your family, your community, nation, and in that order, self first. If everybody was selfish on something, like, you know what? That's what last year was, I feel, was like, last year was forcing people to go inside and a lot of people did not like what was inside or been running away from what's inside it was just like nah i can't do this you know a lot as, as much people as as much people who actually caught let's say covid or whatever 10 times more were affected if they never even was in proximity of it just mentally just having to be forced to go inside you know some people took that to recalibrate for real and like yo you know what i really actually don't like this and now that i don't have to feel like i have to do it every day because like i'm forced to like not do that shit this is what i really want to do or this is how i really want to do it and some people took that time to be like you know what i'm gonna go there and other people just you know some people like to be told that's the other thing too like as much as it's leaders and all that, some people just really like to be told where, like, over there, all right, cool. Over here, cool, let me go over there. Over here, some people sole purpose coming here is to be that kind of person, you know, and they don't even want to put any capacity in any mental capacity into changing. Especially like with with men in certain areas of this life. You know, it's like certain things that just be in our favor just because of society, how it is. Like, we don't even question it because to question it is probably to like give yourself a, a problem, give yourself a, a extra thing to have to talk about. And some people don't want to do that. Some people want to be stuck in a certain way. They want it to be exactly how it's always been because that's how it is. You know, and last year was definitely like, hey, here's time to question yourself, question your reality, recalibrate. What are you doing wrong? What are you doing right? You know, how can you be even happier? Last year was a good time to do that because everybody was on a playing field of shit is shut down. You ain't feel left out like, damn, I ain't doing nothing. It didn't know. Everybody ain't doing nothing at a certain to a certain extent. <laughs> Everybody gotta sit their ass down. So what are you doing with that time that you had to sit your ass down? You know, and how are you what did you learn from that and how are you improving yourself from that? If any, some people can't wait to go right back into the same bullshit. You know. Sad, to be and that's probably for them. That's your hey, that's your goal, yo. Maybe that's why you came to this lifetime to do that. For me and for my niggas and my friends and my and the family that I'm growing with, nah. It's progression always, progress, better, better myself, learn more, learn how I'm learn how I'm contributing to the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Last year was a, a good year of this is how I'm contributing to the bullshit without even knowing, you know, in different ways, you know. But Move some of that bullshit. Man. I even know. <laughs> you know, you just want to stay, which is fine. I get it. It's all good. You know I'm, I'm just simply saying, like, if it's something that you really have to heal from and go through, I'm sure you ain't the only one. I mean, keep it vague. Well, you know, I. I do, I, I, I'm I starting to understand more now, especially, I'm starting to understand more now of like the, the way that, that I myself and just men sometimes, we 
emotionally, we don't take in account the emotional aspect of certain things because we feel like sometimes we feel like that, like you too emotional, yo, yo, you, yo, you being sensitive. It's like you're not sensitive enough to understand that, you know, little things, you know, for me, like let's say, let's say in the crib, right? Let's say having like, you know, dirty dishes all the time. Yeah. Or your joy, like your underwear is all over the place all the time, whatever the fuck, like things like that. It is, you know, sometimes we be thinking like, you know, as a, we, we like progressive, like me and Corey talking about, it'd be mad progressive, but in certain areas, it'd be like niggas still be 1950s. <laughs> niggas still be like the woman. <laughs> Even though we don't really think in it, but how we're moving mm, is funny. like, you know, the thing might stay there for a week or two because of how we were trained that the woman's supposed to do a certain, supposed to do that thing like that. We head into a dangerous area right now, son. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, 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 I fully understand that's, what you mean. That's the area because it's like, this is a, big we don't, a lot of times we don't realize that we, that we're, that we're continuing we be mad progressive in all these different things that's hashtagable, but yeah. then it'd be the small, the small, numerous small things that causes a person, whether woman or man, whatever, causes them to act a certain way. And then how they act, we say, yo, why you act? Why you? It's just a, it's just a, you know, it's just a, it's just this. Like, why you acting like that? Yeah, but it's, that all the time and it doesn't get resolved unless I do it. Why doesn't it get resolved? Why does it always have to wait for me to do it for it to be resolved? You know, sometimes we put weight on our, you know, significant other or whoever, like we don't really realize that we are doing it um, because of this, how we've been trained. And even though we might be in a place of, I'm gonna unlearn, I'm gonna do it. Like I'm gonna be a better person. I'm gonna be a better X, Y, Z. Um, we get pride in that sometimes and we think, you know, we think that we the shit and not realizing that now that all the big things that you've been focused on, you understanding you got to get to these smaller aspects of everyday life that can, that you can learn from and just make shit easier, you know, make life easier and also, um, help in communication, you know. For me as well, communication and how I communicate, how you communicate, um, when you communicate, you know. Um, last year was definitely a time for that. Like I, I had a time having Marlo, I was just like, dad, 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 Marlo, father, boom. I forget a birthday or, or I'll forget, or, you know, Mother's Day will come and I, I didn't hear my mom. I'm like, oh, I'm a new dad, like a father, like, come on, like, what? yeah, but still, because of who I am as an artist and the music and how much that's a part of my life, I don't put, I don't have a lot of time to, in the past, I, had, I didn't have a lot of time to spend with family, you know, because it was like, it's almost like, like, I had a line in the song, I was like, holidays getting in the way of the grind. <laughs> like holidays getting in the way of the grind only thing on my mind but I love family so I know I gotta make time because it's like hot the, the holidays is lit because it forces you to okay none of that family you know that's why sometimes it's like all right it's not even that Mother's Day is a thing or Valentine's like oh a lot of these should be ways for you know the system that we in to make money Here's another day with another thing so money could be made. But really, for me, it's like those days are specific points where I can definitely know, let me put some time into this because I know how I feel about this person and I want them to feel that way. And because I be just in my own zone, let me make them know as well that I'm taking time out from all that shit to focus on doing something from my heart to you. You know what I mean? Um, and taking, you know, just just realizing how I wasn't, I wasn't doing that, you know, I wasn't 
show, even though I might love my mom, my sister, my girl, everybody a certain way, I, certain things I wasn't doing to just show and express that when I didn't have to, you know? Um, and even at times when I had to, I'm still not doing it, <laughs> you know? So I had to really be like, I, right, you know, the amount of time that I'm putting into all this, all of this, uh, to everything else, I have to also put, in, I'll show you this shit that I made. This is like my list I look at every day, right? Man, you got some of this shit too? I got, I got a gang of shit on my wall. So this is one of them, right? It's like ste it's steps steps to my elevation, right? Yeah. Steps to my elevation. It's oh, read like, that, read that. So the first, first, self-care. Self-care, Marlo care, mm. and, fam and family care. So it's like, First is self, am I good? Breakfast, did I eat? Wash my face, wash my ass, boom. Marlo, he eat, he's good. Family care, Corey, she's good. Da, 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 da. All right, next one. What are my tasks for the day? All right, what I gotta do today? What, what, what am I got, what I gotta do today that cannot wait for tomorrow? I can't drag my feet, I gotta do it today. What are those tasks? What are those things? Cool. Next one, what needs to be done in the house? All right, you know what I mean? Like, okay, you did all this self care, boom, you know what you got to do, did it, but the garbage has to go out today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, that, that, the, the light bill has to be paid today. The internet thing got to be paid to, today. That's what the house needs. I got to clean. All right, that, I know I've been just looking at that fucking sock every day, and I know I'm really just waiting for her to pick that shit up. I need to stop doing that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, what, needs to, what needs to be done in the house? And the next one, exercise. Yes. You know what I'm saying? That goes with self-care, but also exercise. Like, and under that is breath work, breathing. You know, I have, where's the, where's the, uh, I got a book that's all on breath work, but breath, exercise and breath, breath work, breathing, taking time to just sit and visualize the air going in because i'm like yo imagine how much breaths you took today that you didn't think about 99.9 percent .9 of them period. and imagine how empowering some of those breaths would be if you just was like not even stopping to like only stop and think about breathing no nah, while i'm doing my shit i'll just be like you know what i mean i'm making a beat i'm making the snare is going in hmm. Fill in and fucking snare coming out. I'm dead. just breathing, you know? The next one, what if any events, what if, what if any events are approaching? So what events are approaching? What's in the timeline? What's next week? What's a month from now? What's the thing? Oh, my sister's birthday. Mm. I, yo, you know what? I mean, even though it's six months before, I know that that's coming. Let me not wait till the week before or the day before. Be like, what, what am I gonna do? Nah, let me think about it from now. Okay, so that's coming. Let me. You know what? I know she really like. Like for me, it was like you know what? We haven't traveled in a minute. This was last year. I was like, yo, we gonna go to Atlanta. We gonna go and spend a whole month there. Like, planned it from month because I had this. What am I? What's approaching? What's the important things that's approaching that I can? deal with from now so that when it gets closer i'm like ah i already some some things i'll be forget i'll be forgetting i bought the present <laughs> two months ago i'm like shit what am i oh yeah i got the whole oh it's gonna be lit i forgot because because of shit like that you know what i mean mm -hmm. then the next one what needs to be done tomorrow you know so what events are approaching boom but what needs to be done tomorrow what what's what i gotta do tomorrow if i don't do it tomorrow i cannot let it stay no other time like what is that and then the final is meditate and rest so after all that end of the day or whatever meditate go in think self you know deal with whatever it is whatever task i'm dealing with for the day whether it's you know why do i get angry all the time when somebody says this one thing why do i always get angry why does that one thing always take me out of my whole zone let me meditate on it. Let me go back and see. Oh, you know, when I was 
ate and my mom did that thing, I really hated it. And I've been judging everything off of that one time that that thing happened. You know, meditation and then rest. Not think about all that shit and just rest and chill. You know, now wake up and do it again. So that, that's my list. I'll be letting you know. And now it's like, at first it was definitely a list that I'm looking at. Even now I still be slacking all the time. And, you know, different moments. But for the most part, you know, a lot of this is embedded. So I don't even be looking at it. But certain times of the day, I'm breath work. You know, certain times of the day, I, well, I got to tomorrow. Let me write this shit. Yo, you know what? That's just coming up two months from now. Let me, let me put the order. Let me just order that shit today. I know I'm going to order it. I know I want to do it. Let me do it right now while I got the time. Cool. You know, so... Having shit like this, you know, definitely this one. And then I got the other one, which is the uh, the, the four agreements. I'm sorry. Just listen. I, need, I need this information, baby. The four <laughs> agreements, yo. First one, be impeccable with your word. Mm. You know what I mean? That's the, that's the first agreement, be impeccable with your word. That means if it exits, and that's, this is, that's like magical magic when you want to deal with the magic if it leaves my mouth it is fact yes. it is impeccable it is my word is bond so what that mean you know what i really want to do this project but i cannot because i know you know for me it's like i always want to do mad i always want to do mad shit for the I always want to do all the things. So I'll say yes to 20 things knowing that if I really push myself, I could do those 20 things. But in reality, I'm going to do five of those things really good. And the other ones is eventually going to fizzle out. I'm like, yo, my bad. I didn't get to do that. So I don't want that in my energy no more. So I'm going to be impeccable. You know what? The power of no, no, I can't do that. No, I can't do that. Yes, I, yes, I can actually do that. You need to buy Wednesday. Yeah, I could. Yes, I can have it to you by that day, and then have it by that day. Come out, making sure my word is impeccable. You know, once I start thinking about that more, I start saying no to a lot more things. Not that I'm just let me say no, but I know that I'm not going. I know that mentally and just timing, I don't have the time to fully execute that thing how I want. No, I can't do it. You know, it might be a nice check, a nice bag. I'm not gonna execute it right, so no. You know what I mean? So that's the first one. Next one, don't take anything personal. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing personal, because even if somebody do something to me or say something, I'm like, Oof. like, I gotta understand that, that that person has gone through a whole life that came up to this point. That person has gone through mad experiences that came up to this point where they said that one thing or did that one thing to me that affected me crazy. But I can't take it personal because they have all, they got their own things, their own shit. And then sometimes I can't take things personal because I have to think, you know what? I really put myself in that position for them to have to say it to me like that or have to do that to me, you know? Or, yo, sometimes I was here, this was here, A plus B equals C. So I can't take it personal. Because the right, the right, the wrong thing at the right time, A, I can't take it personal. I, if I take every single thing that happens to me from everybody personal, I'm just going to be just fighting. You know, so I don't take, don't take anything personal. Next one, don't make assumptions. I'm not assuming anything. I'm not assuming you about to do the job right. Nah, nigga, here's exactly how I want it. Here, just like that. You see how that's exactly like that. Let me not assume you just gonna get it. And I'm not, nope, I'm not wasting no time. Nope, here's exactly how I, oh, you was gonna do it like that already? Perfect, cool. But I'm not assuming shit, you know what I mean? Then the final one, always do your best. Yeah. last agreement always always so that goes to the first one because i'm not gonna i'm not gonna dedicate myself to anything i know i'm not about to do the best 
Oh, you know, that's why we did this meeting. That's why we did uh, the Zoom a different day. We supposed to do it another day. And I was like, I'm not gonna be at my best. And this is your so, best. I just want you to know. Even that we can't do it. <laughs> I was like, yo, we can't do that. We, yo, we got to do another day with it because I want to be this energy. Exactly. Best. This so, is the energy that I wanted. So you come. You know what I'm saying? So that's ten percent impeccably. Right, and it wouldn't have been that on the day that we did it. <laughs> or it would have been that, but it would have been fake and forced, and I would have felt depleted after because I had to put up the front. You see what I'm saying? Exactly. So that's another one. Four, four agreements, yo. I got that shit right up there. This is crazy <laughs> because it's like this is an artist's process. You know, when people always say, like, show me your habits and I'll tell you your future. You know, this is that. This people would wouldn't expect. Because, you know, I think sometimes when people see art, they see spaghetti. And it's just somebody all over the place. And people feel to realize, like, I think you had a tweet about it. Like, my randomness is my consistency. But I see I see on top of that, on top of the randomness and the effort, there's, there's, there is, there's, you're building out this, you're building out this structure, this agenda, you know what I mean? That is important. And it's funny that you, we've been talking about Jamaica and African diaspora. I always, you know, again, I was just talking to Josh last night, so this has been on my brain. I was... Reference them with him, like going to Thanksgiving, maybe a couple of years ago at his family spot in New Jersey at his aunt's house. Mm -hmm. And how, you know, his father was having like a family meeting. I was surprised I was even there. I was blessed to be there. And they were talking about having an, an agenda for the family, for the new year that was coming up and what they were going to do back home in Ghana, what they were going to do here in America as a family unit. And the right. thing that you're doing is a part of the agenda that you're creating for yourself will then be passed down to your family. Because now your family as a whole has an agenda. And then the community has an agenda. And et cetera, et cetera. Like, so everything that you're talking about right now is just beautiful to see because it's literally exactly how legacy is built and how community is built and how we pass shit down. Like your kid will be waking up with his, his agreements. He's going to know, you know what I mean, for school. Don't yeah. commit to anything that you can't succeed and do your most impeccably. Yep. Do your best. Yep. And so forth and so on. You're gonna give them the health advice and give them the wealth advice. Like yeah. you're, you're on a different, you're on a different level, bro. I knew this, but it's just I see how you execute now because this is these are the yeah. things that are going through your mind. Sometimes I'm just speaking from an artist who just like, how do you become consistent? How do you do something daily in a daily in a, in a great way? How do you know what to select? And these are the things that people need to see. Like, oh, this is how you do a better job by only committing to things that you can execute well over and over again within the time frame that you're specified and you agree to. Don't make, don't assume that other people know what you think. How do you want the beat to yeah. be? What do you want to drop? How long do you want the track to be? You assume everybody gets it, but because we all mind readers, but that may not be the case. No, nope. this is nope. really important stuff, man. Like this is this is this is jewels, nope. This is drill written. A lot of jewelry has been shared right now. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of jewelry. So it's a lot of jewelry in this world. We're gonna do some books too. Uh, yeah, some books. Please share. Please share. This one is a good one. Great Cosmic Mother. Mm. It's a great, 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 great book right here. Still reading a lot of it, um, you know, but it just goes into this uh, aspect of it. It goes into a lot, but an aspect of it is just showing how in the ancient, you know, as further you go back, further, further you go back, there was more reverence and praise and understanding of the feminine aspect of just life and everything, you know, even all the way down to like why we count numbers, you know, like a number system is like a, wo a woman naturally has a cycle, you know, so yo, this cycle every, you know, let's say they, they didn't have days and shit back then, they're like, yo, this happens all the time and the moon has phases as well. Oh, my shit aligned with the, you know, let me take tally marks of that. Oh, every 28 days. Now, oh, so that's, the, so this equals this here, here, family, here's how I'm using this to, oh, that's a number. Then the man take, oh, it's a number system, numbers. And now we got numbers. Now we got, now we calculating dates and did it, you know, and how that, a lot of that just comes from women being who they are naturally and how the society that we in right now is built upon suppressing that mm. and is built upon also not not uh cherishing that and not understand the balance that needs to be had for for this is why we in the turmoil and shit we in right now because because of 
the systematic, you know, systematic oppression and all that shit that at the forefront and the head of that is white supremacy and male dominated white supremacy and people have that mind state. Every white person don't got that mind state, but we all benefit and every white person, everybody benefit from the supremacy, whether you with it or not. You could be on the battlefield against it and in the house, you still benefiting from it. You know what I'm saying? So this book is a good one just to get in that mind state, you know. Yeah. I'll give you, I'll give you that one, you know what I'm saying? And then I'll give you this, I'll give you this one. I'll get, you know what, right, you're gonna get future nigga. Oh. Get future nigga on it. This one, the secret <laughs> teachings, secret teachings of the ages. You know. This one is about, this is just about all religions, all just all different esoteric knowledge, occult, everything and how it's all the same and it's all just principles and ideas that was like, you know, everybody as far back as you go is really every culture talking about the same thing in their own way. Mm -hmm. So yo, our thing over here, we got, we gonna have Buddha over here. It's Buddha over here because it's the language, it's the style, it's the look, it's the da da da. I over here, we gonna have, you know, Krishna or whatever. Yo, over here is Jesus. Over here is this. But a lot of it is all the same. It's just a different language. It's just, you chose this language, y'all chose that, you know, voodoo or whatever. You chose that language to say the same thing. You know, a lot of times we feel magic or spiritual, all this thing is how they do it in the movies, you know. And the movies is really to, the movies and things are really to advance your imagination, right? So niggas think time traveling, you got to have, niggas is waiting for the machine to be built so you can time travel, right? Mm -hmm. Niggas is waiting for the fucking, they waiting for the, uh, whatever the car was in that movie. They waiting for that car. What was, what was the car that they, that Marty oh, McFly yeah, had? Yeah, the Lord. They waiting for that. They like, that's, you know, tied the big portal going to open up, boom. Nah. What's time? Any movie, anything that I did with time travel, the reason they doing it is to go to the past to change something that affects their present or go into the future to learn or see something so that they can come back to the present and do something so that it advances their future. That's it. So when you mentally meditate and go and you know what? Let me think about my, my, let me think, you know, let me think about that time when whatever happened to me, let me really go back to that moment. And like, yo, what really happened to me at that time? Like, why? Let me look at it from the different aspects of different things. You time travel, you're going back in time. You're like, and then you learn something or you pick up something like, you know what? Yo, I'm gonna stop living like y'all. I'm gonna stop thinking like that, y'all. And now you take that thing you got from the past and it it bring it to the present. It affects you presently, and now you're moving forward differently. That's time traveling. That's Absolutely, you time traveling, right? You just yo, that's lit. Like I literally do that, y'all. I go back and I go back and talk to my younger self, talk to myself. You know, there's this thing like the younger me was like, y'all never signing no contracts, niggas like independent yo you know what i mean just indie labels man ah yo nah i ain't see yo the industry is fuck that but i have to go back in time and be like all right why was i thinking like that hmm. what made me think like that okay these are the artists and the creatives and the people that i was listening to that was saying like you know the industry is fucked up and da -da -da. why was it fucked up for them what happened oh contracts oh they like nothing nothing that ever happened to anybody in the music industry that was fucked up nothing especially in business i'm pretty sure it was on that paper they signed that's how this shit worked it'd be on that it'd be all the it shit is sitting on a shelf and da 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 it'd be in the contract that the label can take what you create and if it doesn't meet standards and da, 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 it'd be in the shit you sign mm -hmm. you know but i had to time try i had to go back talk to myself look at it and see like oh, okay so 
Now I know it's not that I'm not with the music industry, da, da, da. I'm not with the bullshit, period. So my business is not going to be, I could do, I could work with any company, anybody I want. I'm going to make sure that the business is right. That those letters on that paper that I signed is correct. I time traveled. I went to the past. I learned. I seen from different angles. And then I came back and I'm like, this is how I'm going to do it moving forward. You know? So this is very good good to just see like, you know, different aspects of shit, just how society is built on people who believe in certain things and like you know even on the dollar bill there's so much symbols and so much mm. esoteric so much things on just the dollar bill that's a very magical item the yeah, dollar so bill is a super that. magical item imagine i could this i could have a stack of paper with symbols on it that can cause somebody to take your life that's a pot that's that's crazy that's wild. It's paper. I could burn the shit and it don't mean nothing. But to somebody who's in that matrix or somebody who's who's controlled by that magical item, nigga, that shit will, you know? So just seeing things like that, like seeing all the magic, all the things, it's all the same. That's why I said the other day, the most magical thing I do every day is walk to the fridge and get food. Because the you know how much things had to align? You know what I'm saying? So much shit had to align for me to have that fridge, for it to have the food in it that I had to pay for. The food had to grow. It had to make its way here. I envisioned the fridge. I envisioned the crib that I'm in. I envisioned, I envisioned a certain life and worked towards it, and now I'm in it, and I'm able to get up, wipe my ass, and go in the fridge. And That's magical, nigga. That's top-level magic. That's... Yeah, that's wizardry, divine wizardry right there. You know what I mean? That's how I see the little things to the day that I don't separate, you know, it, I don't have to be like this with the incense to get to the place. Nah, it's like, that's the thing with meditation too. Like literally meditation is, yo, I'm playing, you play that same beat over and over again and it gets you in a zone. That zone is meditation, is not it's not just a, um, it's that as well, if you want it to be that. But for me, it's Jay Dilla. Jay Dilla is like, anytime I play Jay, there's certain Jay Dilla songs I play when I'm meditating on certain things. So now, even when I'm not meditating and I play that song, it naturally put my body and my mind in a certain place to where I'm, I get information differently because I'm open, because I put the time in of playing that song every time I meditate on this idea. You know what I mean? Every time I meditate on this certain thing, I'm gonna play that track. That track is the soundtrack to me get like, for example, let's say, yo, I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna get this car, yo. Anytime I meditate about this car, I'm gonna play Biggie uh, One More Chance or something. That because that that one more chance becomes a musical symbolic rep- representation in your subconscious for that whip, that car, that thing. You know what I'm saying? And anytime I listen to that song and I go in and I think about the car, and ooh, ooh, now, if I'm like, yo, I'm about to make, I'm about to, you know what? Yo, I'm about to have this meeting tomorrow and that shit might lead up to that car. Let me play the, let me play the Biggie song, yo. Ooh, ooh, you hear that, right? I'm gonna get it. And then what happens? I'll probably get it. And then also certain shit be happening where the song will be playing. I walk down the street and I hear the song like, I'm gonna get the car tomorrow, nigga. And then what happened tomorrow? I get the car. Because I put the men, I put, I created my matrix. I said, yo, this frequency, this body, this sounds, these things, I equate that with whatever task, whatever. It's, you know, I, I know I'm getting crazy, but uh, I, have to make, I gotta make sure I do the future nigga shit too for this. Uh, <laughs> this, this is what we need to hear. Because, you know, I like to do the practicality of the music. Like, we've been making, as a musician, making beats, making music, making things. We just do it, just, we just be doing it. You know, just like, I right, make 10 beats and make, nah, some beats, some things that I produce and I make, I, I literally made it for a certain mind state. And I'm like, let me play that right now. You know, like, 
Oh, I'm feeling a certain way. Let me play that song that I made for when I'm feeling like this to get out of it. Like I'll make a joint that you probably will never hear, but for me, that shit is a classic. But it, I made it for me for a certain mind frame of like, anytime I'm feeling down in a certain way, I'm playing that track. So that shit's gonna, that's gonna take me out. I'm telling myself that's gonna take me out of it. So if I'm feeling a certain way and I just can't, ah, oh, fuck, let me, hey, you know what, play the song. I play the song and my subconscious is like, oh yeah, it's lit, oh yeah. And then I'm out of whatever mood I was in, you know? And it just comes from seeing my music or seeing things for how magical they really are. And it's not just, you know, like anything th like this, Crystal is as powerful as this, is as powerful as my son's thing, is, is all the same shit because you create the matrix. You tell it. You say what it is. And yes, there's elements in life. Like this is a very, this is a crystal quartz. It's very uh, conducive. So your USB drive does not run without this in it. There's a small thing, there's a small piece of this in there that stores information. That's why you're able to keep information on a USB. So for me, I'm like, nigga, every USB is a crystal. Mm. I got certain USBs that got ill, got the ill beats on it. And I, I'm i like, I'd be meditating with the USB. Like, look at this one right here, when I plug it in, oh, it's a wrap. <laughs> You know, because it's the same thing. It's the, it's the same. It's just different packaging, different things. You know, it's like all the elements in your phone, all the elements in your phone is come is, is from the earth. It's from different. There's nothing that in this reality that was created just like that. Nah, it's manipulation of things. So if I took this phone and traveled 3,000 years in the past, they looking at me like I am an alien from a different existence exactly. because I have but at the same time this is a scrying uh, mirror this is a this is a black mirror mm -hmm. sometimes I keep it off and I look at myself in the black screen and just focus on myself this is a this is a black mirror you know if I want it to be mm -hmm. or it could just be nigga I'm going there to fucking get distracted on Instagram mm -hmm. <laughs> You know, so that's that's where I'm at with the with the with the with, with magic, with my life, with everything. That's how that's where I'm at with it. I'm like, I create it fully. I create the matrix fully. There's aspects of this life that work in a certain way. Obviously, you put a seed, it needs the water and the sunlight, bop. But you know, how it's done, why it's done, the energy is done for the purpose, I create all of that. And then it can be something that was already, that was taught to me, you know, like certain, I think also with, with religion and things like that, a lot of times we get to a, a place where we feel like, yeah, we know more than our ancestors or we know more than our parents because we, you know, we did the YouTubes and read some books. So now it's like, yeah, Jesus, Jesus was black, man, you know, Jesus was black. And I'll be having, I do all the, like, you think Jesus is white jokes? I love all the jokes, all that. Jesus, all right. But I'm like, all right, he black. Okay, then what? Mm. How are you using that today? How that's empowering you today? How's that? You know what I'm saying? Me, I'm like, nigga, I use white Jesus for the IRS and black Jesus for the intellect. I'm like, yo, oh. huh. I, I it, Who's gonna tell me different? Who's gonna do? Well, you gonna tell you? You gonna show me the history? And oh, you are gonna show me the paperwork? Or the, oh, okay, cool. How I'm using that today, though? How is that gonna help me today with this diaper I gotta change right here? Is it gonna help me with that, or is it just information just for info? You know what I mean? So, I got past just the info, and I'm like, I got, I gotta apply. I gotta be able to apply it. And for me, it's like I'm gonna make it be in my favor always religiously that's my religion it's in my faith mm. <laughs> you know what i'm saying like oh that's the new conspiracy oh that's what they doing well cool because when it get to me it ain't gonna do that it's gonna do this 
because that's what I say, because I have the power, me, the power. Um, I'm not, you know, anyway, I'm, I, yeah, so them, them two books right here, you feel me? That's, <laughs> those are two Listen, books. I'm over here taking it all in. This is not regular information. Keep sharing. Yeah, you know, keep sharing. I'm just listening, keep sharing. I want to make sure I give all that too, because I want to help people I know I see a lot of, you know, I see that society and everything. Like we all, not we all, but a lot of my friends, a lot of people, I see the energy of relearning, unlearning, and being like, yo, that shit was wrong, or that shit was taught to me wrong, or that's not all the facts. And it's good to know all the facts and know the truth about your way of life, your religion, your people, your where you're from, for how you applying that today for you to move forward? Are you applying it or is it just information? So when you in the next combo, you could be like, yeah, but in 1976, the thing, you know what I mean? Like, it's cool to have the info, but after after the info is the info war, how is it being used to better yourself, your, your community, your friends, your family, your children, your loved ones, like how is it being used for that? Or is it just talking points so that everybody could just know that we all believe in the same talking points? You know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah man. Definitely, man. Sometimes, I don't, sometimes nothing else needs to be said. <laughs> you know what I mean? How about that? Sometimes nothing else needs to be said. I, I'd rather give you more than less. You know what I mean? I know you no, chop I'm, I, I'm, 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 simply, I'm, I'm really here like, there's so many different directions that we can go off with and things yeah. I can respond to, but you just some you you stated everything so clearly and followed it up. There's nothing there's nothing I gotta follow up on. Everybody understands what you just delivered. If they don't, they don't. That's their problem. The people that need it, again, with that student, that teacher, like mm -hmm. they can always come back to it. This is gonna live forever. Yeah, exactly. That's That's exactly. Yeah. A, it's, it's just like the crystal. The seed is gonna always be there, it's gonna always have energy. But some of the things that you were talking about, like how you perceive things or what they are, again, making your own matrix. You know, having making, you know, making you know the USB being a crystal, like come on, a connector, a conductor, like that is information right there that people need to just like think about and synthesize really, really deeply. Yeah, this is some different level manifestation and uh, and, and creating reality creation right here. This is this is not regular. I mean, you see, this is the shit too. Yeah. And I had a similar conversation when I was talking to Dynasty, and we know the energies are aligned in that regard. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, Dynasty, you know that, right? Soul and Dynasty is yeah. Well, I think people when they hear this sometimes they're like, oh, they're on some like woo woo Afro future. No, 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 no. This is all human nature. Everything is a myth. Every single thing that you see in front of in front of you is a person's dream. What a man said, what a woman said, this microphone, a crystal was another person's dream. They built some technology and all that dream was built on and accepted by all of us. So you yeah. can have that new dream. You can yeah. say that, like you said, this could be a black screen or it could be an iPhone. It could be a screen for whatever you want it to be. Some people's whole entire existence, sustenance comes from this <laughs> right here. Everything, music, blah, 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 photos, taking pictures of me, everything from this. Or for some people, this is just a way to tell time. Yep. <laughs> right? Or this is another person. This is the way that my company, this is what my company builds. Or another yeah. person is like, oh, there's some kids in Africa that built the cobalt in this and they got their cans chucked, topped off for it. It's just your perception, whatever it is to you. It could be anything though. Or it could be something that you never engage with because you don't fuck with technology because you're in the woods and that's not you, right? And I think sometimes myself included, I can speak to this. You don't realize how much power over your reality it is. It's like, it's like really on some matrix shit like Neo, like the jump. Mm -hmm. now, you gotta believe you the one before you can be the one. Yep. You, gotta, you gotta believe. Yeah, yeah. And then, you, and then everything kind of just appears in front of you. Like the way that you're talking, the vision is so one-to-one, -one, it's so pure, it's so rooted in reality, but built from a place in a frame that you created. Yeah. All I see is the time, the work, the effort, the years that went into crafting that. That's not some overnight shit because the belief is so pure. Yeah, you know, it's really, for me, I would say like my, just to talk a bit more on like the spiritual journey aside or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's like when I, when I was, when I was young, when I was like 14 or 15, I was a Hebrew Israelite. You know what I mean? I wasn't one of the dudes on the corner. Um, you go ham, but, you know, it's like it's, it's like it's like every other religion. You know, you got Pentecostal, you got evangelist, you got this. You know, you got different kind. That's actually but, my first girlfriend. She was a Hebrew Israelite. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. 
Yeah. So, but the main thing for me, I realized that when I go back now, time travel, I'm like, oh, well, I really, you know, at that time, it was a lot of gang activity in my in my neighbor in my hood. Also, uh, father not there. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then and then you know, single mom household. Uh, I'm looking for father figures or that energy from anywhere. But for me, it came through in this spiritually uplifting kind of way where I was like, I right, I'm gonna start growing my hair. I'm start reading books. I'm gonna start, you know, I'm gonna, and that was my initial entry way to thinking different than what my mom or my parents gave to me, you know. But even at that time, it was more about reading and seeing all the bullshit and being able to be and have battles with people like, oh, it's the bullshit. See. <laughs> So I'm glad I did that when I was young because then I got out of that just being the goal. And it was like, how am I applying it though? How am I applying it, applying it? And when I started applying it for real is when I started really going into my music. And I was like, you know what? You know, and, and, and for me, like I grew from that and I started just understanding all types of religion, all types of reality, boom. And I was like, all right, this energy I'm gonna put into the music. And what it's telling me is do it how I feel, do it myself, do it you know, from the core, from here. And I see where that brought me. But I always have this spiritual context and just that grounding thing of, you know, just growing up, like my 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 mom, my, my aunts, and so they was telling me in church, I would just be singing and be running up in the, like when I was a kid, I'd run up in the front of the thing and scream, the whole church is like, hey. and I'm like, yeah, that was some spiritual, like I remember being in, church like i remember being a kid and this is this is sound crazy i remember being a little kid and seeing the holy ghost like go from this person to that person i was like is it gonna get to me like and they're like nah you're not baptized you, you, you don't get the holy ghost I'm like, damn i gotta do that too. Uh, okay and I, I just felt the feel like the holy ghost ain't fuck with me man like, I got it there, so I got to do that to, all right, you know, but now understanding it, understanding the spiritual aspect of, you know, of, of being in a trance. I always say church is, is concerts for grown folk, for, for older people, older, you know what I'm saying? It's the same energy of figure on stage saying something with music that gives you a, a emotional a feeling. You need that. We need that. Some people, they're going to go to church for it. Some people they gonna go, everybody gonna go different places. But I started seeing the thread of like, oh, all well, well, this just connected. All this kind of the same. It's just different languages. We all just expressing it different. So for me, it's like I'm always learning how to express that better. And when I make it practical, and I think about my everyday thing, what I'm wearing, why I'm wearing it, what I'm doing, I always look at it from the most spiritual way to the most one name is regular cut and I just put it all together. When I do, I'm, I don't know, it's just things just happen for me and I just I flow with it. <laughs> you know, like I said, with the like, you know, wanting something and then the next day is just there or, you know, saying somebody's name and then they hit you up. You know, that's an everyday occurrence for me. That's every single day, every, all the time. I'm thinking about somebody or I'm thinking about things and they hit me or something else, somebody else hit me from another angle or I'm seeing mad or like Van, like one time Van Gogh, like I was doing something, I kept seeing Van Gogh, yeah, Van Gogh, Van Gogh. Yeah, what up Van Gogh, what you, what you want, man? What's up, talk to me, do do. All right, then the next day some millionaire with this company, VR company or some shit, they're like, yeah, we're doing a Van Gogh exhibit and we'd love for you, I'm like, Oh, that's why. Cool. Uh, you know, I'll do it. All right. I got you, Van Gogh. Cool. Let me get a little Van Gogh check. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but I'm aligned to see it like that. And it's like that for everybody, no matter what. It's just you being aligned to see it if you want to, if you don't, you know. And so Dynasty is so definitely people, who, you know, uh, I've been working with and creating with for a long time and we've all just learned from each other and I learned from them always. I designed my my uh, engagement ring with them, you know? Mm. And that was like me and me and Dynasty initially talk about it. And then 
me meditating on it, me having a dream that I'm designing the ring. Then I wake up and draw the design that I was making in my dream, send it to her, like, yo, this is how I was looking in the dream. She's like, yo, last night you was in my dream doing that. I'm like, it's lit. And we were like, ah, so that's going to be the initial part of the design. Cool, let's start from there. You know, things like that, like, you know, just taking it all. The whole thing is magical and spiritual to me. All of it, for me picking my boogers to lighten the incense is all magical. It's all amazing and all part of the spiritual journey. You know, it's just, I, I choose to see it like that and it works for me in my life, you know. So, that's my spiel, yo. <laughs> I'm not even lie. I really just got to say in a weird way, like, just thank you for that. Thank you for everything. Yeah, you've, thank you for everything you've been saying, because you don't have to share. People just assume the information just comes to them. That yeah. you know, everyone's gonna tell you what's worked for them. The jewels, these are real important, special jewels. And I just, I gotta say, on some humble shit, like, just thank you for saying every single thing that you've said today, because it's been the realest shit ever. Appreciate and, you know, it. No words were, no words whatsoever weren't weren't useful. They, all of them had utility. Everything was jewels. Everything was a blessing. Everything was a lesson. Thank you, man. I learned I learn a lot from today, too. I, as much as I say, I learn as well. That's why I like to, you know, have these conversations because I learn from them each time as well, you know? So thank you. I'm going to be thinking I'm gonna be thinking about this conversation. I'm not even joking for, for months, if not years. It's not like my point. <laughs> There's just Late. things I haven't heard before. There's the ways of thinking that it's been said to me in like piecemeal sort of ways from different people over different periods of times. But it's like you just had the full level of clarity just to be able to express it. And I, sometimes it's like, again, this is the reason why I love art so much because you need the people who are outside the matrix, quote unquote, or at least to building their own matrix mm -hmm. to let you be aware or like the whole, like I said, the whole last year, the COVID-19, we don't even get times in life to pause to be able to look for information because you're mm -hmm. always on the loop. You're always spinning on a cycle. You're always in a rat race. You're always on the wheel. So it's like you coming in at a time when people are a little bit off the wheel, the wheel's trying to start to pick back up and it's heading them like, whoa, just in case you didn't get this one on your, your internal journey, pay attention to this deeper, deeper, deeper part that takes a lot of time, a lot of meditation, a lot of book learning. You saw how thick them books were that you put on the screen joints were like, these joints were like this. <laughs> you know, just it's like over <laughs> here, you know what I mean? So I, I'm over here like, oh, I'm gonna real read, you know, Sapiens by, you know, you, you, you all Norel Harari, and I know it's a like common yeah. book, but mm -hmm. then you got a whole nother book that's talking about the same things, but on an even deeper level. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? It's like the information is all around and there's all these commonalities, I mean, commonalities and similarities, but you got like the whole picture and the application of it. Cause something like, there's this, you make the information useful you right. know, in a way that it doesn't just seem like shit that you know, but things that you can implement. And that's just very, the most important. That's yeah. true information, that's true sharing. Cause yeah. you, that's how you change your life. Yeah, yeah. And that's, that's really, you know, to sum it all up is like, for, for all the information and things I learned as a musician, as a producer, as a businessman, as a fiance, as a da da da, I learn it to apply it. You know, I there's there's more knowledge that I've forgotten than I remember. You know, there's there's so much things that I don't even remember learning. I be learning shit like, oh yeah, I learned that, but I it, you know I make sure whatever I do especially in, in information and certain things, I make sure it applies or I can utilize it to better myself. And when I do that, it becomes part of my everyday combo. It becomes part of the DNA structure of what I do. So I can just naturally talk about it and not, you know, feel like I'm, I'm just regurgitating some shit I heard, but it's actually things that I can say, yo, I applied it. I, yo, this is what I did. X plus Y equals Z. You know, like did this, did that, that happen. I have a lot of years of doing this and then that, and then this happens. So, you know, you might want to take take some of what I'm saying, you know, with a grain of salt or with a motherfucking boulder of salt. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've applied it, and I, you can see the track record of what I what I be doing, what I create, and so I kind of, you know, I know what I'm talking about. Dude, it's been working. But at the same time, I don't know anything. That's the other thing. I don't know nothing, cause a lot of this shit was given to me. I didn't. I didn't come up with calling a tree a tree. But if I say a tree, you know it's a tree. I know it's a tree, and that's a tree.
I ain't make it up. I ain't say no, I ain't put them letters together to say that that's what it is, but that's what it is. And all right, now I'm gonna use that knowledge to plant some ill fucking trees and some plants and some things, you know. I'm gonna apply it. So that's what I that's where I'm at right now. I'm just applying it to life and having combos like this to, you know what I mean? Help somebody else apply it as well. So done no, you see me I say. I'm not, I'm not going to take up no more of your time, man. <laughs> two I just want to do, I'm going to do part, we're going to get to part two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah, you know, what, 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 once we got some music, some things out, we're going to do another one and talk no, absolutely. about. That's going to be in person, things. in person. This, yeah. these, are, these are cool now for the initiation. Right. But that, we need to have that in-person energy. And I'm, I'm just building these joints up just to yeah. get the energy flowing. But these are all happening in person. I need to be in the space. I need to see the wall. We need to have yeah. we gotta get a video of it. We got to see the baby Marlo to talk about the future. We got to see the wife. We got to talk to Corey. We got to. Mm -hmm. I need to see everything in 3D because, mm -hmm. uh, man, you just, this, this one has been one of my favorites, if not the favorite, <laughs> but, <laughs> but it's just like, this is what I wanted this show to be because people think yeah. that you can just walk down the street and know what a person is doing. Like th these artists, are, artists are the ones really giving us a way to see the world in a different way, a new way of seeing, a new way of being, a new story mm -hmm. that you haven't heard told. All these stories that you see on the screen aren't the stories that apply to everybody. So you need to showcase art. Or you're mm -hmm. never gonna see the world differently. Everything that you see in front of you is somebody else's art. We gotta, we gotta like hear how that art is being created for us. That works for us. Yeah. And the things that you're sharing, you just, you just, you just, you, uh, you just define my purpose, bro. Like, but, really, but, I'm not yeah. even lying. Like you, like this is the shit that I was saying to myself. What I want to do, and this is the reason why. Because I know, I, I know these people. They're artists. They they're different. They have <laughs> jewels that everybody doesn't know, and no one's asking them these fucking questions. They keep asking, where you're from? When did you start getting into music? How are you doing? What's the music? When is the album coming out? Like, nigga, that's not the, that's not the information. That's not what's going to help somebody see a new life and get a new vision. It's these conversations. Yeah. These people are special individuals and they're here with a special soul, a special vessel energy, special community energy. And if you're yeah. not really trying to get down to the essence of them, what makes them, you're never going to be able to share that energy and create new worlds. Because we all could be artists if we had the, the, the brain tweaking mm -hmm. to think about it like that way. And like you said, see, some of us here are to, are, are to follow, but it's about seeing enough artists and enough people taking risks to probably get you out of your follower zone and get you into your, 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 your shepherd zone. And you could, yep. be the, you could be the shepherd of a new generation of a new or, or a, sect, a sect of people doing something different. Yeah. Facts. You know, we know what we're building, bro. We Facts. know exactly what we're building. And again, gratitude. Gratitude. Okay. Thank you, y'all. Appreciate the time. And we already know we go back, so you already know what it is. <laughs> Just love, man. Love. Yeah, Thank yeah. you. I'll talk to you soon. Oh. Let's put the music on just to end the conversation, just the way we started. <laughs> Success. Somebody successful, I want them to do that. We play that track. Period. Play that. Energy, energy music for the right time. You see what I'm saying? You gotta understand, like uh, that's just how I feel. Like that. Yeah, yeah, the music yeah. is even bigger, man. Like you, like people. I hope people can go back to what you were saying before about like these songs, these tracks, these mixes. They're not even just about like. Oh, it's a it's a music to dance to. These are vibes. These are memories. These are moments. These are encapsulations of 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 dreams. These are future. These are f past, present, and future built music. That's the reason why art, the sound goes worldwide because it's essential. It's spiritual. It's metaphysical. It's inexplicable. And that's not some woo woo art shit. You feel a way when you hear something. You damn near feel successful. You feel confident. You you're, you're tapping into your future self, the person that you're gonna be. Yeah. It's just like everything's already written. All you got to do is take the steps to get to where you're already going to be anyway. So be confident. Know that you're already going to be successful because you already see your future. That's why I just been telling myself and trying to just get it across to as many people that I talk to online or offline. You got to know what you want and you got to know your superpower because that's your future. And then you can walk back all them steps that you can already see. It's already out there for you. You already success successful. Yep. But you got to believe it. Yep. Truly believe it. 
in order to in order to see it, in order to make it real, in order to make other people see it. Because yeah. it's your dream, not theirs. Yep. And I feel successful. Nice. I feel wise. I feel nice. Nourished. Hey, I feel hey, rooted. Hey. Oh yeah. You gave me a lot today, man. Like it's just it's just ultimate gratitude. It's just a blessing, man. Like I'm I'm so happy. I'm I'm so happy. I'm just glad. I'm like I gotta talk to Miller. What am I doing? But <laughs> like, I'm like, hey, like, watching all this stuff. Like, he talking. Like, I gotta talk to Mello. Like, I'm like, what am I doing? I think you need to like like the conversation or something. Where and it was just like, oh shit, Mello, hold on, that has to happen. Like, <laughs> he's uh, no, again funny. one of the first of many, man. We're gonna we're turning this HD. We're gonna travel. We're gonna be in the spaces. People need to be in your in your area. I want to see the studio. Yeah, uh, when you're in you LA, let me know, yo. Pull up, Absolutely, bro. Thank you so much mm -hmm. again and. Just have a good afternoon and Hi, yo. everybody. Thank you for listening. It's love. Same to you, yo. Peace. Peace. <laughs>